Hello, everyone. Welcome to the webinar. Very excited that you're here. It's Sean Casey, and we've got something really, really awesome for you today. Special training with our friend Greg Ryder, who's going to tell you some uh, really cool stuff about e-commerce, which you knew was coming, and uh, the literally step-by-step -step to how to start, get products, put this whole thing together. Uh, a lot of stuff about uh, the mysteries or at least solving the mysteries of drop shipping and making that a really, really simple process for you, showing you what products are the products that you want to be selling because they're the products that are selling that people are now buying, and much, much more about e-commerce and the success that he's had and a lot of people that his system has helped, and you're going to see all the details and all of that stuff before we're done. So. How many of you are excited to be here today and learn more about e-commerce and how to get started very quickly from scratch? Just put, a, put a yes in that chat box if you're ready. All right, awesome. And uh, some of you probably noticed, some of you may have not because you show up for, the, for all the trainings, uh, that Greg is doing something really awesome, which is going to give away a full-blown e-commerce store to one lucky attendee, and that's worth $5,000. So who thinks they should be the store winner? Who should win the store? Anybody here? I'm seeing a lot of me's. Absolutely. I would love to. Everybody putting in their own name. Okay, terrific. Uh, the deal to win the store is you got to be here to win. So it's limited to the thousand people or whatever can fit on this go to webinar chat so your odds of winning are incredibly awesome you have to be here till the end of the webinar uh, to win so don't go anywhere um, you're going to want all this information anyway but you definitely don't want to leave because if you leave you can't win because you got to be on and when we announce the well pick the winner and, and announce the, the winner um, at the end so make sure that you stay here because it's going to be often uh, or awesome Sorry, I got. I had to laugh because Wanima wrote, "I glued my butt to the chair." So uh, <laughs> you don't actually have to go that far and get completely carried away. Um, you know, don't don't injure yourself in the name of winning. Okay, uh, that's that's not our purpose in being here. So um, glad everybody's here. To everybody who just showed up, hi, it's Sean Casey. Thanks for for being here. Uh, we've got some really awesome awesome things to uh, to share with you today. Our uh, our guest expert speaker is uh, Greg Ryder and he's done some really awesome things and um, uh, it's really what he's got today is kind of a, a one-of-a-kind, unique, it's a really super cool training. Uh, you, you, I know you got to be aware that e-commerce is hot and is uh, one of the best online business models right now. Uh, you know, selling physical products to people because people love to buy stuff and have it shipped to them. All you do is look at Amazon doing $100 billion a year. All the people that are that are doing well with their own e-commerce stores and following that same model, it works. Now, before I introduce you to, to Greg, I want to let you know um, a little bit about him, okay? Um, first of all, again, I see a bunch of people just jumped in. We're going to be giving away a $5,000 uh, done-for-you e-commerce store. It's already stocked with over 2,000 products. Imagine that, getting a store with 2,000 products in it. Somebody's going to win that uh, before the end of this webinar. Um, you know, it's worth thousands of dollars. Uh, I've never seen anybody do this before, so it's really going to be awesome to, to see who wins that. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Greg and his background, and, and Greg's one of those guys that's just been out there doing stuff, hasn't necessarily been talking about it, um, let me explain to you why you need to pay close attention. Okay, first of all, he was the youngest owner of a full-service investment banking firm in the history of the U.S. at the age of 21. He's raised hundreds of millions of dollars for entrepreneurs. He's a serial entrepreneur, a coach, a mentor, and an investor. He's business partners with Kevin Harrington, who was one of the original sharks on Shark Tank and, and uh, awesome in the infomercial business. Um, he's got another uh, partner that's a branding mogul named Bernd Ullman. Uh, this is the uh, people who've launched the brands of Jennifer Lopez, Nicki Minaj, Adam Levine, just to name a few. But that's not why you should listen to him today. No, instead, what's really unique, and the reason we asked him on to do this training, is that he owns his own e-commerce software platform and, get this, 165,000 square foot U.S.-based 
print on demand and drop shipping company. Now, print on demand means the products are there. You say you want a mug or a shirt or whatever with a certain thing on it. They print it, ship it, all handle for you. Now, what's really cool besides that is that because of having the software platform, he's got dozens of power sellers as clients, power sellers, people that are selling huge volumes of these things using his software and the facility. So that means you can take guys that are doing seven figures a year and know the model that they're following, and that's where it gets really good for you because most people can only be like, oh, this is the little system that worked for me. What Greg has is that knowledge of not only what's worked for him, but what's worked for a lot of different people who are doing millions of dollars a year in e-commerce, and he's going to share their top strategies and tactics with you during this webinar. He sees firsthand who's doing what, what's real, what's not, because they're his clients. He knows what's really going volume, because if they're shipping products, then you know that they're doing volume, right? So he's going to show you how to build a seven-figure year e-com business in some simple steps. You need to pay really close attention. You've got to get rid of all your distractions. Get rid of your cell phone. Turn off Facebook. Send the dog out of the house. Send the kids over to the neighbors. Just stay focused for about the next 90 minutes. Get ready. Take notes. And without any further ado, please give a really warm welcome. Say hello to Greg Ryder. And Greg, I'm going to let you take it from there. Go ahead. I, I appreciate that, Sean. Can everybody hear me okay? Give me a big okay if you can hear me okay. I see the high Greg's coming in, the OK is coming in, sweet. OK, so I am a super high energy guy. I love to get things going, and we're going to rock. So you guys see this rock on the screen, right? I'm going to tell you what that rock's all about any second now. I do have my business partner online. He's going to be answering questions as we go the best that, he's, that he can, Stephen West. And so we're going to roll into this and, and just kind of get going. I know your time is valuable. So as Sean said, this is the five simple steps to a seven-figure e-commerce business online with USA-based dropshipping. A few notes. First, I want I want you to know that I'm not the type of guy, I'm not going to give you any long, drawn-out, dramatic stories that have no value. Just not me, not going to do it. I can't stand it. Second, this is about starting a real e-commerce business. I'm not going to promise you that we can wave a magic wand, make thousands or millions of dollars, but I will promise you that if you want to be in a community of like-minded entrepreneur, entrepreneurs who, in fact, are building seven-figure e-commerce businesses, then this is something to really consider. And third, I am a huge respecter of time. Like seriously, you guys are giving me your most valuable asset. I want to say thank you. I appreciate that. And I promise to do everything I can to provide you value and insights so help you make great decisions. So I hope that works for you. I want to get going. That's kind of like my little intro. And as Sean alluded to, I do have what I refer to as an ethical bribe. That I was I was taught that term ethical bribe from Alex Mandozian probably back in 2004. And I want you to stay to the end. But more importantly, I want you to take notes and be engaged. And, and here's the reason why. I'm going to teach you some really cool stuff that you guys can use in, in, in your business and some stuff. And if you're taking notes, I know you're going to retain more and you're going to be engaged. But even more important than that is one lucky person is going to win this done for you storefront with actually 2,250 products. It's going to come with our hosting. It's going to come with our training. It's going to come with fulfillment. It's going to come with drop shipping. It's going to be on your domain. It's your asset. It's your business. And actually, I have, a, it, to me, I valued it at $14,982. And I'll show you exactly how I came to that number. But I will tell you this. If you do not take notes, you will not be able to win. I'm going to ask a two-part question at the very end of this webinar, and if you can't, if you didn't take notes, you're not going to be answered this two-part question, and it's going to be the very, very first person who answers this question is going to win the store. Is that okay with everybody? Give me a big yes. That's okay. If that's okay, because I came up with this idea, and no one's ever done it before, but it really is cool, and you know, we're here to make some business and give you guys some good value. So I see the yeses flying, and there's a lot of people on this call. So that's incredible. So thank you very much for that. So here we go. Today's agenda. I'm very agenda-driven person. I'm very sequential. I like things orderly, right? So the first thing we're going to cover is why e-commerce. We're going to get really, really clear on why e-commerce. Secondly, we're going to talk. We're going to move into the five steps, which the five steps are first the top seven niches in e-commerce. We're going to talk about what platforms to use and why. We're going to go over the pros and cons. We're going to talk about some of the top marketing strategies to use from Facebook. And these are the strategies that I learn and that we do from these seven and eight figure earners that are our clients and customers. And I tell you, I learned some wicked smart stuff that they do not share because they sit behind computers and make you know tons of money. 
Like there's a guy sitting in the other office, he's making five thousand dollars profit a day right now. And I learn stuff from them that I can share, but they're not in the business of teaching their tricks and strategies to other people. Right? So we're gonna talk about the number one step everybody forgets that will keep you broke if you don't figure this one out. Number two, we're gonna talk about the perfect engaging and entertaining list building strategy. Number three, we're gonna talk about the old school sales page that increases sales by two to three hundred percent. Number four, we're gonna talk about the number one way to make your advertising profitable. And then of course number five, we're gonna talk about USA based drop shipping. And number six, we're gonna talk a little bit about building brand equity to create wealth. So as a, as a guy that's been in the investment banking business and helped coach and mentor thousands of entrepreneurs, it really it really bothers me that a lot of entrepreneurs have never been coached and taught. You should build something you can sell. You should build an asset. Your energy and effort should always be thinking, what is my exit? What how am I going to take this business? How am I going to sell it? And what can I do to increase the value of that business? Right. So that's what that's going to be at the very end. Really, it's kind of like a everything from A to Z. 30,000 foot level, how to build a seven figure year e commerce business. But this is not a get rich quick business model. If there's anyone out there that's looking for that, you know, that, that get rich quick business model or that do nothing, make a fortune fantasy, this isn't it. This is for people that really want to build a seven figure business. You want to build something up that's an asset you can sell or pass down to your heirs, and it's a real deal. So now back to the rock, right? So the, the whole point behind this rock was is we were sitting around a while ago, about, about I don't know, say a month ago or so, and somebody was talking about how hot e-commerce was. And the comment was, well, you'd have to be living under a rock to not know how hot e-commerce is. So I Googled living under a rock, and I found this rock and these people living under a rock. So we determined that these are the only people on planet Earth that don't know how hot e-commerce was, and I wanted just to show you their house. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> I still think that's funny when I tell that's just incredible. You hey, Greg, funny? you know what else is funny? Yeah, Ryan said he thinks he's walking around with that rock on his back. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. All right, so let's let's talk about the why. Why? Why? Can you believe this? Last year, $327 billion in the United States of America online, and that only represented 8.2% of all transactions. Before The year before that was like 6%. But that's a lot of money of online e-commerce sales. Here's another article that came out in the middle of last year that said in 2016 that worldwide e-commerce sales was supposed to hit $1.9 trillion with expected double digit growth through 2020 to top four trillion dollars. That's a lot of money. Cyber Monday hit an all to all time record in 2016, 3.45 billion in one day. That's a lot of stuff. Amazon create their own Christmas in July. Hey, give me a one if you bought something on Amazon Day. Let me know, were you guys out there taking advantage of Amazon's Prime Day, right? I see the ones coming in, right? So here we go, look at that, 200,000 dresses, 300,000 light bulbs in one day, right? So they break in all kinds of records, and that was a 60% increase over the previous year, right? So it really is phenomenal, and I, I did want to play a little clip from Steve Forbes. I'm very fortunate because of my investment banking background and some of the investments we've made and some of the things that we do, I get to hang around with some pretty cool people, do some pretty cool stuff. So I'm going to play a video of Steve Forbes. He was up in our hotel room, and I asked him about e-commerce. It's just a real short video. Let me play this, and hopefully you can hear it. Sitting here with Steve Forbes, and I asked him to give us one quote on e-commerce. We were talking yesterday at our breakout, and then he said some good stuff. I want to get one quote from on e-commerce. Uh, e-commerce is uh, the wave of the future uh, because it's convenient for the consumer, and that's what uh, commerce is all about, meeting the needs and wants of other people. Ah, thank you, Steve. Thank, all right, thank you, sir. All right, have a good day. See you tonight. All right. So we were in Las Vegas with Steve for his 70th birthday party. And he was up in our hotel room, and I love it how that guy's so well read. He's such an amazing businessman, being a you know the editor in chief for Forbes magazine. And just off the cuff, we meet the needs and wants of the consumer, and that's what it's all about. It's the wave of the future, right? So for me to tell you it's hot, it's one thing. For you to see all those stats, it really is one of the best things out there. And I wanted to throw this picture in here because on the left side, that's our investment banker. He's done over a billion dollars of investment banking. He makes me look like a small fry. Bernd Ullman's my business partner in the middle. I'm going to talk about him a little bit later. There's Kevin Harrington. He's one of our investors, one of my business partners for Angel Investors Network, and of course, Steve Forbes. And the only reason I show this screen 
is I want you to know that we are not one of those companies or one of those people that you know we've we've created a software product and we're putting it out there and we're going to try to make as many sales as we can and then we're going to launch another software product another software product we're going to ClickBank and JVZoo that's not us we are real businessmen and we are on a we are on a path to build a billion dollar company in the next five years so you guys are kind of being part of history and you're going to kind of see part of our plan tonight of how we're going to do that but we are the real deal real guys and we have I got to tell you right up front if you consider doing business with us our It's a win-win-win. So with that being said, I got to tell you a little bit about Jack Ma. Jack Ma was made famous because he did the largest IPO. And again, here I'm being an investment banker. I'm on top of all this stuff. The largest IPO in the history of the planet, right? For his Alibaba and AliExpress. So everyone knows that Jack Ma was made famous for shipping stuff instead of this amazing online export out of China. But did you know right now, today, he's traveling across the United States of America on a road show to promote U.S. exports to China? He's going the opposite direction. Why is he doing that? Because they have a growing middle class already 300 million or more strong. And guess what they want? They want USA products. They want products from USA. So I don't know about you, but I'm a very big patriot. I'm a big USA guy, and I would love to have China give me some of their money. If you guys want some of China giving you some of your money, give me a big yes, yes, yes. I want to see that going on because I want to send my stuff to China. I want that middle class in China buying my stuff, and I want to have that money coming back this way. I see the yes is flying in by the hundreds. It's awesome. Very cool. Thank you for being engaged, people. I really do enjoy that. Okay. So another reason that e-commerce is hot, another major factor e-commerce is hot, and really why it brings you and I, the individual, into play is drop shipping. Drop shipping has changed the game. And when I talk about drop shipping, I was actually doing drop shipping in 1997. I owned, I bought one of the very first internet malls on the internet, and it was a nightmare. It was very difficult. We got out of the business very about as quick as we got into it. Right? But how many people here, if you do not understand completely what drop shipping is, put a two in the chat box. So if you do not understand what drop shipping is or you're a little fuzzy, I want to make sure to see how many people out there. So I see a few twos coming in. So let me just take one slide here and bring this up to you. So why, what is drop shipping and why you should care? Here's what drop shipping is. A customer comes to your website, like you have a website in a store and you sell stuff. That, web, that customer pays you the money. You collect the money. Then you take a, per, a portion of that money and you go find a drop shipper slash manufacturer and you pay them for the product. They process the order, they package it up, and they ship it to your customer. You keep the profit. So it's like you're a reseller where you're buying wholesale and selling retail, but you never have to um, you know, manufacture, right? You, 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 you never have to pay up front. You only pay for what you sell. So there's no risk of inventory. And this is what's really, really hot and why USA dropshipping is really, really hot right now because there's a lot of people been dropshipping from China and other parts of the world. And there's a lot of people making a lot of money, but it's also problematic. And there's a lot of people that are going to China, buying thousands of things, bringing it back here, sending it to Amazon, and getting stuck with inventory because they didn't know how to sell it. We don't want you to do that. We will inventory it. We'll put our money up. We'll take the risk, but we'll let you sell it buy it wholesale and sell it retail. So that's drop shipping. Does everyone understand what drop shipping is? Say yes if you do. I want to make sure. And as I kind of describe this, you say, well, what can be drop shipped? Anything and everything, right? Canvas art and shirts and baby blankets and coffee mugs and wine glasses and Bible covers and couches and motorcycles and Christmas stockings and night lights. And I mean, literally, I got a bed which actually, by the way, I'm going to get rid of. But I got a bed from Tough to Needle. Tough to Needle takes these little foam beds and they somehow squish them and they put them in a little box that's like two by two and then you take it to your house and you open this box up and boom, it, it, it just like expanded this huge king size bed. I don't like it so I'm going to get rid of it but uh, they shipped me a bed. It's incredible, right? So anything can be drop shipped, right? So I want to give you guys some things to consider and take a little bit of notes here. So as you're thinking about your business and your drop ship business, how you handle some of this stuff and what you should be concerned about with drop shipping, right? So first of all, like I said, anything and everything can be drop shipped, right? So don't limit yourself to what you want to sell or what you want to market. You can think outside of the box, and you typically can find somebody that will drop ship that for you. But these are the things you must consider. 
shipping costs and times, right? Shipping costs and times. Obviously, it's going to cost me more to ship a refrigerator or a bed than it is a piece of jewelry. So we typically try to ship stuff and try to get in the drop shipping business with things that are easily shipped and don't weigh a lot because of the, the costs associated with that. Then the other thing you want to talk about is how long is your excuse me, how long is it going to take your drop shipper to get the product to your customer? Now, like I said, a lot of people are doing drop shipping from Alibaba and AliExpress, our friend Jack uh, Ma, and it's taking three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks. I actually talked to another guy yesterday. He goes, Greg, I'm still dealing with problems from orders in April of drop shipping from China. So it, it can be very problematic. So you want to make sure that whoever you deal with, you know what your shipping costs are and the times of delivery, right? And then B, you want to make sure that whoever is your drop shipper, that you get order tracking, that you have tracking links. You can say that's USPS, Federal Express, wh whoever it is. You need to make sure that everything is tracked because the, the the fraud out there where people say they didn't get it, or they you know whatever can can go off the charts, or people that steal credit cards and they buy your stuff and they resell the stuff on eBay, stuff like that. There's all kinds of stuff. You want order tracking is critical. Make sure that whoever you get your drop shipping from can do that for you. Number C, I want you to make sure that whoever you build your drop shipping business with and, and use for a drop shipper, that you have a contact person that you can actually talk to, right? That you can build a relationship with. Because in some respects, you are building your foundation, your house, you're building your business on the back of that drop shipper. And if you can't co communicate and talk to that drop shipper, then why would you do that? You wouldn't, you should not risk that, right? And along those lines, do they provide good customer support to you? Right, so if you can't get a hold of them, if you can't get customer support, then why are you doing business with them? So these are critical things that you must figure out ahead of time. And I see too many people getting in the e-commerce dropshipping business that don't take, go this route. And they take somebody else's advice and they just they just go on somebody's other, you know, and they just do it, and it's costing them uh, time and money, which is no fun. And then the last one I want you to make sure you think about and you ask them about, talk to them about, is how do they handle returns? Somebody gets a wrong size, it happens, right? So how about something gets broken or damaged? We sell coffee mugs, and sometimes the coffee mugs get broken. I don't know what these dang people do. Maybe they throw them in the, I don't know how they work, but sometimes things are broken, they're damaged, the wrong size. Uh, they just decide they don't want it, right? So you need to make sure that you have clear uh, understanding of how your drop shipper that you work with works with you as it relates to your returns, broken, damaged sizes. Because again, remember, this is your customer. It's not the dropshipper's customer. It's your customer, right? So I just want you guys to make sure that I hope that's a little bit helpful you for you. I don't want to spend a lot of time on dropshipping, but I do, I, those are the key things that I think you should be concerned about. So if you find that helpful on a scale of 1 to 10, give me a, a, a 1 being okay and a 10 going, that's very helpful. Okay, I see some 10s flying in. Sweet. Okay, here we go. I'm moving along. Okay, so we can all agree the e-commerce is hot. Would you like a piece of this pie? If you would like a piece of this pie, say, yes, I want a piece of this pie. And you know what? You don't have to have a big piece of the pie You know when it's in the trillions of dollars. You just need a little piece. I see the yes is coming in by the hundreds. This is awesome. Um, so very cool, everybody. Okay. So let me go to this next slide here. Okay. So here's the first step of the five steps, right? The first step of the five steps. Pick a niche. We have to pick a niche. So these are, from our perspective, from our knowledge, from what we see with our manufacturing, what we're doing, the seven hottest internet e-commerce categories or slash niches. Number one, health, fitness, and skin care. Health, fitness, and skin care. And Stephen, you love telling people why health, fitness, and skin care is the number one category. If you're still there, I'll let you do that. I'm still here. So baby boomers have always, because they're the largest slug of population in this country, have driven markets. When they were babies, Gerber blew up but with baby food. And when they needed shoes and when, and when they went to college, education blew up. When they needed their first house, real estate blew up. Well, now, you know what they care about? If they have spent their whole life trading their uh, uh, health to get wealth, now they want to do the reverse. They want to exchange their wealth to be healthy and have, and so they want to be able to enjoy the thing that you can enjoy 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that ain't necessarily a boat or a car or tickets to a show. It is how you look and how you feel and how others perceive you. So it's a big deal for baby boomers to be concerned about their fitness levels, how they look, how they feel, and, and how they look to others. How they feel, and and Stephen again, he's our business partner with 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 us here at T Rex, and he has a sub niche of fitness, 
and he's doing well over he'll do well over two and a half million dollars maybe close to three million dollars with with one product in a sub niche of fitness so again health fitness and skin care has always been hot it's always going to be hot never going to go away number two we have clothing and apparel right and you wouldn't think that clothing and apparel would be hot uh, but it is a hot category and like how many people remember Zappos give me a one if you remember Zappos uh, Zappos started selling shoes online and Zappos was the very first e-commerce company to do over a billion dollars in, in one year and so they proved that you could do shoes and that kind of stuff and we know within clothing and apparel a couple of sub niches to that that's hot and grandmothers are sitting around they're buying stuff for their grandkids their granddaughters they're on the iPads and they're making these purchases people in the faith-based market I see tons of people doing really really well in the faith based because they're passionate about that and of course pets is always hot right so pets is always hot now number three personalization this is a multi-billion dollar industry people like personalized posters and personalized canvas art and personalized t-shirts and personalized just anything and everything anything you can personalize is a game changer because you can't walk into Walmart and get personalized canvas art right you can't walk into Walmart and get personalized dog bowl right so for your dog so anything personalized is great so that's your thing start to think about these niches which one do you want to be in which one fits with you which one would get you excited and then let's start combining personalization with clothing and personalization with health and fitness things like that another one that I love is this handmade items and Etsy so Etsy is a website that you know again billions of dollars of transactions have happened on Etsy and they've proven that artisans artists sculptors anybody out there an artisan an artist a sculptor a painter a photographer you know anybody out there stuff they've proven that you can make money selling your stuff online right handmade items I see a couple but not that many usually I get a lot more people okay pet products so so just as a category you got pet uh, food and pet collars and pet water bottles and and supplements and all kinds of things for pets pets is just hot always will be you know it's just one of those great categories that you can build an audience up for pets it's fantastic so fan based products now this is one of my favorite because this is something you can do that you're passionate about maybe you're a soccer player maybe you're a hiker maybe you're a rock climber I am a hang gliding pilot anyone out there hang glider pilot I've been hang gliding since I was 16 I'm 55 I've been as high as 18,000 feet in a hang glider so if my wife or my kids want to get me a cool hang gliding poster or a hang gliding shirt or a, a coffee mug or some canvas art for my office where are they going to go? There's nowhere to go. So we're going to create our own little niched hang gliding e-commerce store, and I'm going to market just to hang gliding pilots and maybe paraglider pilots and things like that, right? So that's a niche that I'm passionate about. All of our hang glider pilots are passionate about, it, and we can dominate and own that niche. I see a retired hang glider 15 years ago had a knock on the head. <laughs> no, David, that's not good. Okay, and number seven, and number seven is always going to be around trends and fads. How many people are old enough and you remember the pet rock? Remember the pet rock? It actually, it actually was a trend, and it was in retail, a rock in a box. Seriously. Well, the latest trend and fad was these little spinner toys. How many people got a spinner toy? Put a two in the box if you got a spinner toy, right? Because uh, they're everywhere now. They're like at 7-Elevens and QVCs and everywhere, right? So these are the fads and the things. Are, it, it's not something I think you build a business on trends and fads, but it's a way to turn cash over, and that's part of a business model as well. We want to turn cash over. So let me ask you a question. What niche do you want to be in? Tell me right now, what niche do you want to be in with e-commerce? If the world was perfect, you could do anything you wanted. Tell me what niche you want to be in. I see pets. I see pets. Uh, I see health, I see clothing, I see hobbies, I see travel, personalization, uh, health and fitness and skin care. Uh, <laughs> survivalist, that's a good one. That's a real good one. I see uh, fan-based products, clothing, health. So, okay, very cool. Shoes, awesome. Okay, here we go. So you guys got, there was, that's step one. Step two, which platform and why which platform and why so if you were to Google e-commerce platforms you're gonna get thousands of ideas right and it's very confusing and, and the problem with entrepreneurs and people that want to get going they get stuck and the reason people get stuck is they don't have clarity they don't make decisions so we want to help you make good decisions we want to give you some information so you can make a decision and get unstuck so here's what we know Stephen and I and through all of our power sellers and all of our relationships we know that everybody we everybody we've met everybody we know that's doing seven figures or eight figures a year or more every single one of them use Shopify 
T-Rex, or Amazon. I don't know anyone else using these other platforms. So we're going to wipe out all this Magento and Volusion and all these other platforms. We're going to wipe them out, and we're just going to talk about the three top platforms, Shopify, T-Rex, and Amazon. Okay? So what we want to do is we want to go through the pros and cons. And I'm going to roll through the pros and cons of Shopify, and then I'm going to let Stephen talk about the pros and cons of Amazon because Stephen's doing over two and a half million a year on Amazon. So Shopify, now by the way, we use all three platforms, and our community is about growing your e-commerce business. It's not necessarily about getting you stuck into one T-Rex or something like that. We want to help you no matter what you do. So pros, great features via they have an app development community that develop apps just for Shopify, and there's thousands of apps, and they've got great features. Shopify has good support. You know, I've never had any problems with their support. I like it. I like the fact that it's a hosted solution. You do not want to host your own e-commerce site. You don't want to host your own website. You just don't want to be in that business. It's a headache. You don't want it. You don't need it. You have lots of themes for great design, right? So you can have a pretty cool looking store, you know, with a great design. If you want to get it customized, that's a little bit different. It really pretty good for search engine optimization. And I know you guys, as part of Sean's world, you understand, you know, the tools to drive traffic and search engine optimization and things of that nature. Uh, they do have some cool apps. If you do want to import from China, they got some cool seamless, app, seamless apps that pull in, and you can pull stuff right in from China and market all kinds of stuff from China. And it's really cool for tagging and building collections of products based, or you know, tags and collections, and it's really kind of good for that, right? Kind of stuff. The cons are here's the cons for Shopify. Each app costs extra and gets expensive. Has anyone experienced that before, right? Um, Premium themes cost 140 to 270 bucks, but that that's not even that much of. I mean, that's not even a big deal, right? I've spent on one time I spent three thousand dollars to have my theme customized because I wanted to look a certain way because of a brand we were building. And now, hindsight 2020, I would never do that again because that was a waste of money. Uh, but if you do want to get some stuff customized, you got to hire programmers, and it can cost a little bit more money. Setup takes dozens and maybe hundreds of hours. And actually, I should change that to say setup takes hundreds of hours. You know, no matter what platform you're on, setup takes a lot of time. You're creating products, and you're creating descriptions, and you're creating shipping, and you're creating prices, and you're creating coupons, and you're creating all these different things. They take time, right? And we're really big on one-click upsells. If you know what a one-click upsell is, put a one in the box. If you put, don't know what a one-click upsell, put a two in the box, because this is something we're going to go over a little bit later that shares with you, hey, one-click upsells is killer. Now, there is an app that you can do that with. It's 300 a month, right? That's a lot. Now, if you're making money with it, yeah, I guess you could pay that. Uh, we also believe in long-form product pages and long-form sales pages, and you can't really do that on Shopify without another app. And here's the, here's the biggest con of all. Uh, you can have a great store, you can have it look great, you can have great products in store, you can have it all built, but if you don't know how to market it, if you don't know how to bring a customer, if you don't know how to get those people to buy from you, if you don't know how to optimize what you're doing, you lose. No marketing training is included with Shopify. And again, just to kind of hit this home, this is a couple of screenshots from Skype where, uh, full disclosure, a couple of our customers paid another one of our gurus some money to go spend three days with them, like side by side, in, a, in their house, show me how to do this three days. The first day they did 16,000 sales in one day with about a 30% margin. The second day they had it up to 15,000 sales. So I think that everyone would like to have days like that, right? So let's talk about Amazon. So Stephen, I'm going to tee you up and you go ahead and comment here. I got, the, I got control of the slide deck, but the pros are yeah, so obviously Amazon has a bunch of like millions of Prime members and they're and they're they're ridiculously faithful. So if it's on Amazon, they're going to buy it. They're not going to shop around. So they got a tremendous amount of visibility, and you're going to get traffic. But you've got to earn that traffic. Just it's, if you just put a product on Amazon, it's like putting a drop of, of vodka in the ocean trying to make the fish drunk. You, you, it's just too much out there. So it's a buyer's marketplace. People aren't going to Amazon to not buy. It's not Google. It's not Facebook. It is a it is a buying platform. And then there's the trust. People, they have they have gone insane over. Over customer service people know what to expect they know what they're gonna get there's just tremendous amount of trust in fact there's people who trust Amazon they don't want to buy from them they go and do their product research on Amazon and then go Google your brand and find your website so that's why you need to own an off Amazon strategy prime members love prime they get free shipping on everything prime Amazon told me prime members are ridiculously faithful 
you need to be on Amazon just to access those Prime members. And they offer drop shipping. When people say, isn't drop shipping risky? I don't know. Ask Amazon. They're a, they're a half a trillion market cap business and they do drop shipping. That's what fulfillment by Amazon is. And it has its own list of pros and cons. And the cons are everything costs money. All right. They are a big player. It's their field. If you don't like the game, take your ball and go home. They're going to charge you what you want to. And it takes a lot. To figure it out, I've spent a small fortune to be able to, to to make a small fortune learning how to do Amazon and set it all up. And the rules can change overnight. And it isn't your customer. So here's the thing about your platform: you get to put pixels, you get to retarget, you get to get to email, you get to get the customer data, you get the credit card number. None of that is yours. You can't have an Amazon business. Don't let anybody say, "Hey, I'm gonna start an Amazon business." You can start your business, but all you're gonna do, Jeff Bezos has an Amazon business. The shareholders and the board of directors have an Amazon business. You will never have an Amazon business. You can launch a business on Amazon because it's not your business. Um, I, you know. You decide whether it's true or not. We saw it on the internet. It must be true. Well, I know people, you know what? You know. Well, you know what, Stephen? Check this out. So when I had, uh, we had another webinar with, with a lot of like, like we literally had 400 Amazon people on it. And here's my story. So I had a lady come to one of our events. She said she was doing over $50,000 a month with her skincare formulation. She said one day order stopped. She's like, what the heck? She went and looked on. Her product wasn't indexed anymore. It wasn't. You couldn't even find it out there. And she went to page one and she saw that Amazon had her exact formulation with their brand on it. Took her and shut her down. And I asked that to other people on another webinar where there's a lot of Amazon. Has anyone ever heard this? Anyone ever see this? And I had at least 60 people go, oh, yes, it's happened. It happened to me. I saw it happen to me at least three times. And so this does happen. It's hard to believe that they do this. I can't believe it, but it's amazing. The the point is, it's their it's their field. You, you know, you play by their rules, or you go home. You take your ball and go home. Um, so it's competitive. So what? Th so the, the pros can lead to cons. So there's tremendous visibility. So what happened when I came number became number one in my category? I got a bullseye on my forehead. I wake up every day with a red dot on my head, and the competition comes from me. But competition is what made America great. It's the tide that rises all ships. I make more money because competition, legitimate and not, made me get off of my 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 happy place and go to work. And it's made me more money because I cannot rest on my laurels. I cannot sleep. I cannot slumber. But they're always gunning for you. And you know, you can't just sell anything you want on Amazon. You have to be approved. You have to be vetted. I'm going to say it again. It's their court. If you don't like it, take your ball and go home. You got to play by their rules, plain and simple. Yep. Oh, yeah, and we already talked about it. they can compete with you. You can create your own field of competition either through all the other eyeballs, all the other sellers, but Amazon, Amazon themselves, if they like your product, you've done the heavy lifting for them. If you've uh, uh, built the brand and built a following of customers and worked out the supply and the sourcing and all that, you've done the heavy work. They can just take it and run it better than you. That That's the thing is they can take it possibly run it better than you. And there's no marketing training involved. I have paid a small fortune to get the experts to tell me how to sell on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon's got some onboard help, but so does everybody. So is there's good luck trying to figure out all of the, the the tricks and the tips and the tactics from Amazon. It's not going to happen. So there you go. That's from that's from a guy that's going to probably do three million this year on Amazon. Now in our community, he will be teaching Amazon, and there is a place for Amazon. We're doing some stuff with Odell Beckham Jr. officially licensed, and we know that we can crush it on Amazon with OBJ. So there is a place for it, and if you want to get the right training. And I see some comments going, "Amazon's been a nightmare for me. Amazon stole my stuff and and making a profit from it." So there it is. So let's talk about T Rex now again. I am biased. We own T-Rex. We bought T-Rex last September. We have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars making it better because we wanted to own our own e-commerce platform that tied into our own USA-based dropshipping. So here are our pros and cons. First of all, ours is built on web price. Ours is built on WordPress. If you know what WordPress is, put a one in the box, right? And if you don't know what WordPress is, I'd be amazed because like most of the internet is built on WordPress, right? Which means there's millions of WordPress developers to help you customize and get cool stuff for your site. We have a personalization engine. I'm going to show you this. It's going to blow your mind. You're, you're going to say, I've never seen it before. It's going to be amazing. We can do personalization. We have one-click upsells built in. Why? Because I come, and Stephen comes from the internet marketing world. I started in 1997. So when we bought T-Rex, we said it needs long-form sales pages. It needs one-click upsells. It needs funnels. It needs this. It needs that. And we've been investing all this money into the platform so we can literally say we have the best 
e-commerce platform for marketing and conversions there is on the internet and we believe we got that covered no add-on fees for our apps we have a number of apps and add-ons we don't charge anything extra for that we have a survey and an opt-in builder because we know that the money's in the list but more importantly it integrates directly with USA based dropshipper printex which we also own and most importantly like I said before we give you weekly marketing training every Tuesdays and every Thursdays like clockwork you're stuck you need help I'm stuck with this pixel I'm stuck with this Facebook audience I don't know how to create an ad I don't know what to do how do I create my funnel we are going to help you every Tuesday and Thursday we've been doing this for seven months we're going to continue to do it I promise you if you show up we will show up right and that's what makes us different is we're a community that's teaching and growing our e-commerce because we want to earn your business with our drop shipping business right that's what we want the cons are is our products not really designed for categorizing and organizing thousands of products we can have thousands of products in our store but they're not really designed for organizing them at, you know real simple and easily secondly we don't have a developer community for our product for our for T-Rex but WordPress does so that covers a lot of the stuff that we might not you know that we need we can just get it right from WordPress right we don't currently and we have no plans in the immediate future to integrate with imports from China we're we're real big on USA and creating jobs in USA and supporting our economy now that doesn't mean that we won't do some stuff because if our customers want it you know we're like everybody else you find that you, you gotta give your customers what they want and we want you to make money right so we, we're gonna figure that kind of stuff out as well it takes dozens to hundreds of hours to set up products so just like Amazon just like Shopify it does take time we can't eliminate the time it takes to do that but we actually have a solution we're going to share with you with our done for you stuff coming up um, and again I can't emphasize how important coaching and training is this is Tina and um, she goes I got T-Rex in January of 2017 and now I'm doing over 10,000 a month in sales I love the support I get and the training is awesome I can't wait till June and that was posted on April 22nd so that's only three or four months after getting T-Rex she started doing 10 grand a month so that's pretty pretty cool um, can you guys hear that little knock 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 sound going on do you hear that Steven through my mic is my mic picking that up never mind I just closed it I just hear a bunch of mess and no my slack was going off I, I didn't know how to close it okay oh, yeah people yeah. hear that, that knocking sound so I use slack with my developers and my team and I forgot to turn it off sorry about that okay so that was step two step one pick the next step two pick your platform I hope you guys get some clarity out of picking those platforms and what's out there and we're still going to show you a little bit more about t-rex and show you why t-rex is a good choice um, and whether you have Shopify or Amazon you want to think about diversification and that kind of stuff so step three take some notes on this this is this is good for anybody doing marketing and strategies and e-commerce here we go what is the number one step everyone forgets that'll keep you broke let me see if you guys got some guesses out there what's the number one step that whenever you're doing any type of thing on the internet marketing what should you do and if you don't do this you're, you're really wasting time let me see if I got any guesses out there follow up get traffic ah there we go look at that right off the bat we have a we have a winner will was it William or is that Andrew I think that's Andrew Andrew said test that is it you must test 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 if you don't test you're really lowering your chances of success so let me give you an example here's a case study so one of our eight figure earners in our community this is one of the studies he did and he said okay I want to market some boots to Texas mechanics he had some designs he put together and he said okay please comment below with one two or three and help us find the best design right so I don't know about you I like number two so as great as we are we're, ne we're, we're never right so what one was I, what one was number three number three was the winner now again if you do a test like this and you, you you're advertising the Texas mechanics so you pick your audience you know what you're doing you know who you're going after if you don't get any engagement see there was 33 more comments there was three shares if you don't get any engagement then it's probably a bad design or a bad audience one of the two right and so you might just abort the whole project so now he got the map and he goes okay the number three was the best design well we have three different maps so let's let's test which map so same ad same audience same targeting please comment below one two or three which one do you like one two or three well we found out that number two went two one so now we know it's the map of the Del Rio so now we come back and, okay we have a round badge and we have an oblong badge same audience Texas mechanics comment below please comment with one or two to help us find the best design then they found out through this test that it was the badge number two badge worked right 
Then you go, okay, now we know what design, we know what badge everyone wants. Let's go, hey, and ask them, attention, Texas mechanics, comment below, one, two, three, or four, help us decide what product to launch with next. They were going to get the shoes, the high tops, the backpack, or the boots. And guess what? The boots won hand down. But we also found out that the backpack was number two, and that could be the, the second product in the funnel and the one click upsell. Now, this is for men, but you got to remember there's going to be women, right? There's going to be women people out there or women mechanics. So, attention, are you a female Texas mechanic? Comment below, one, two, three, or four. So, do you see this case study, how this works? Uh, have you guys, has anyone ever done anything like this where you, you, you do some testing? But if, on a scale of one to ten, if you think that's a brilliant strategy, give me a ten. If you think it's okay, give me a one. Right? Because this is the stuff that you should be doing. You should be testing this stuff. And here's where it saves you time. Is I see the tens coming in, the nines, tens, tens, nines, eights, tens. Uh, beautiful. Here's, here's what this does. It saves you time. Because if you start doing some $5, $10 engagement tests like this, and you get no engagement, abort. Go to the next product, go to the next design, right? Secondly, you can fine tune what's going on here, and you already know your audience is going to be engaged, but there's no reason to go source a product, to build a product, to build a campaign, and put all that work that goes in on the back end if no one's going to buy it. So now we know we got some engagement, we know people like it, we've already seeded the marketplace, now we go in and we, we build the product so we can actually sell and, and deliver this. So it's a time saver, right? It saves you time and, and gets you there faster. Okay, so that's that's the one. Now the next one is the what's the let me see your guesses on this. What is the perfect and engaging and entertaining list building strategy? Because we all know the money is in the list. But what would you do to entertain, engage, and build a list online? What would you do? Facebook fan page. Let me see your guesses. Uh, the money's in the list. Free offers, quizzes, contests. You guys got it. So it, it, that's what you want to do. Contests. So free giveaways. So here's an example. Let's say you have a product that you know Seattle Seahawks fans would like. So you go to eBay and you type in Seattle Seahawks Crock-Pot. You're going to find officially licensed Crock-Pot manufacturers and you're going to buy a Crock-Pot to give away. Then you're going to go to Facebook and you're going to put an ad that says, we're thinking of a number between 1 and 500. Please guess below the first correct answer wins the Crock-Pot. Now this isn't getting an email, this isn't get, this is just them putting a number in, and they can do this in seconds, so it's very non-intrusive, and then you use a, a product like Trust Message, and the next thing you know, the, the message is popping up on my fan page going, hey Greg, please give us another guess, uh, we haven't found a winner yet. So now you're engaging, you can run ads like this, you can get a couple thousand people to comment with a number, then you come back with, hey we picked a winner, click here to see if it's you. And then you push that through Messenger, and boom, you drive a couple thousand people to your website with like a 94, 95% click-through rate because they want to see if they won. Now, is that a great strategy for building a, building a list and getting some engagement? It really is. It really does work. And you could do the same theory with an opt-in form with T-Rex or any other opt-in form builder where you can basically have an ad, send them to a page, you know, ask for their name and their email, drop a pixel on them so you can retarget them, and now you've got that list, and now you're selling them something that you know that they would, because now you know they're a diehard Seattle Seahawks fan. You know that maybe they're cooking. Maybe we're going to sell them a cutting board. Maybe we're going to sell them a grilling set or a grill kit because, hey, why would they want to, you know, they must like to cook or they wouldn't want a crock pot. There's a different psychology you can do with that. That's not the best example, but um, there we go. I clicked the wrong link there. So, pretty cool stuff, right? So now I'm going to show you something that's exclusive to T-Rex, right? So this is personalization that's fine. So I just clicked the link. I'm going live to a website and win a free San Diego State personalized mug. So I'm going to type in my name, Ryder, and I'm going to type in I graduated in 1980, and I'm going to put in my, my email. Oops. Let's see, what is my email? Okay, and I'm going to hit submit. So this is exclusive technology to, to, to ours, and now it's capturing my name, put in some database. I've just captured a lead, but watch what happens here. Thank you for entering our SDSU mug giveaway. It put my name and my class on the coffee mug. In addition, it put it on the shirt. In addition, it put on the black shirt with reverse colors. In addition, I put it on the water bottle. Now, have you ever seen personalization engine like that? 
So this is what's really cool to T-Rex is somebody give me your name and your year. And I'm going to what your your last name and the year you graduate. I'm do this live with somebody who puts it in. You'll see that this is live. So I see the first one that came in is Hyatt 1989. So H I A T T 191989. Okay. Hit preview and you're going to see your name and your information show up on that bottle. There it is. So you can do this with any design, you can do this with any logo, you can do this with anything. This is what's so cool about our technology, and I'll show you some more of this a little bit later, but that is, what, again, what's so unique and different about us. So again, on a scale of 1 to 10, how cool is that personalization engine, right? I just love that stuff. So the 10s are flying in, 11s, this is why we have the edge with our e-commerce. This is the things that we have that no one else has. You can't do that on Amazon. You can't do that stuff with Shopify. This is what really is cool. And again, it's your customer. I see the amazing, fantastic, brilliant 10s. Okay, so that's cool. All right, love it. Okay, so now we're moving on. We're still in step three. And now we want to talk about the old school sales page to increase sales 2 to 300%. Right? I hope you guys are taking notes. So. I got, who knows Dan Kennedy? I went to Dan Kennedy in 1985 about his magnetic marketing, and I've been a direct response marketer ever since, and I always believe that most of the time, long-form sales copy, long-form sales pages always convert more than short-form. So again, let me click on this, and I'm going to show you. This is one of our celebrity clients that we work with, and we create a long-form sales page to sell this hoodie. Now, this hoodie sells for $115 on the store. So you can see we have a nice, big, bold headline, free shipping on our premium quality oversized fleece. We have a nice, beautiful front and back uh, lifestyle picture. You got the order now button. You got the five-star reviews. Then you scroll down. You got a little sub-headline, Nikki Lund, singer-songwriter, some information about her as a, as, a, as a designer. And then you scroll down. You got another headline, another picture of the hoodie. And then kind of talking about what it is, the fabric. Then you got another lifestyle pic. We actually screenshotted five star reviews from the website. And then we had another lifestyle pic. And we got some more five star reviews. And then down here, we have a video playing. And I'm going to go ahead and let that video play. So she actually got on Extra TV with her clothing. And she, here they are showing off her clothing from her store. And towards the, 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 the end, they actually talked about the hoodie. And there's the hoodie on Extra TV, right? And then below the hoodie, let me turn that and turn that back, is her celebrity clientele. She actually makes clothes for Miley Cyrus and Blake Shelton and Carrie Underwood, Blake, you know, Britney Spears, and then you get your money back guarantee. So is it is it logical to you that if I have a long form sales page like this, that I'm going to sell more than if I just have a campaign page that might be typical on Amazon or a Shopify page? Does that make sense? Right? So I know a lot of people use click funnels and things like click funnels to build long form sales pages for your e-commerce business or your physical product business, but we built it right into T-Rex. So you can build these pages and their templates right in T-Rex. So again, we've gone the extra mile to create the coolest product for your e-commerce. So that's the long form sales page. I promise you, if you implement that, you will make an extra two to three hundred percent. I've seen it as much as ten times, believe it or not, an extra ten times on that kind of stuff. You're right, it saves you that money on click funnels. Okay, the number one strategy to make your advertising profitable. Do you even want to venture to guess on what this is going to be? The number one strategy to make your advertising profitable. I did mention it earlier, and I asked you guys when we were doing the uh, pros and cons if you if you knew. What, what it was. Testing, retargeting, targeting, retargeting, abandoned engagement, upsell. Not yet. It's funnels. It's funnels and upsells. There you go. Nick got it. And Pamela got it. And uh, so there you go. So, so, here's, so here's what I do. So I pull out PowerPoint and I start thinking. And I have a mentor named Brian Tracy. If you're to Brian Tracy, give me a yes because I love Brian Tracy. And he teaches the most valuable thing you can do with your time is to think, right? So I sit down and I think, right? I go, okay, I'm gonna do a funnel. What's the first product? What's the second product? What's the third product? What's the email sequence? So this is just a simple example of this I wanna draw for you. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna sell a kid's white t-shirt and I'm gonna have a sale that's normally $12.97, it's gonna be on sale for $4.97 plus $3.99 shipping and handling. Then they're gonna to go to checkout. And then after checkout, I'm gonna throw them a one-click upsell for $29.95. And if they buy that, 
comfy critter, I'm going to try to sell them another comfy critter at 1995 because they always teach us, we always teach people, hey, just try to sell more of what they already bought. And if they don't buy the comfy critter, the downsell is going to be the matching mom or dad shirt, and then we're going to take them to the thank you page. And then, of course, you got your card abandonment emails, and you got your exit pop. So that makes sense. It's a little simple sales process. And this is the kind of stuff that we teach, right, and test. So would you guys like to see this live with T-Rex and how our system works? I want to take you live. Let me close out these other ones. I'm not using any more. So let me take you live. This is a heat changing mug that we offer. We can put any design you want on a heat changing mug. How many people think this is cool what they're seeing right now? You pour your coffee in it. As the mug heats up, it reveals the photo. So I know golfers are fanatics, right? How hard is it to target golfers who love golf, love the Masters, love Augusta, et cetera, et cetera, and try to sell them the perfect gift, the heat changing golf mug. So you target people who like golf, like Augusta, and drink coffee. Okay, now you can do that. So you want to have when I see people, want, I want when I want when I want when I want when I got to send you the link. Okay, so let me show you the upsell. It's in a test mode right now, so I'm going to add it to the, my cart. Here's my cart. Now, one thing that's really important about our cart is right now I just put the email in. The minute I go to billing address, boom, we've captured your email. You are now in a cart abandonment situation, right? So we can capture that email ahead of time. Now I'm going to put in my name and fill out the rest of this cart. Greg Test, my phone number. My street address, my country, my state. I'm showing you this is you're gonna see one click upsells live. And then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create them in our system. So I'm gonna hit continue with payment. So this is what's called a two-step checkout. We capture your information first. Now we're gonna ask you for your credit card so we can have more card abandonments and better card abandonment. So that's a test email, so don't don't worry about stealing that that, that credit card, people. Okay, order now. So now I order now. And it's capturing my information, billing my credit card, and bam, just charge my credit card and just triggered an email. So now I got an email coming to me going, thank you for your order of your coffee mugs. But it says, wait, before you go, matching famous golf hole pillowcases. Your famous golf hole heat activated mug order is complete. We'd like to send you a confirmation shortly. We know which huge golf fan you are. Would you like these beautiful pillowcases? I'm like, wow, these are beautiful. I do want a pillowcase. Look at how beautiful that is. So I'm going to select, I want two of them. I add this to my order. One click upsell. Bam. It just charged my credit card. It just triggered another email. And off to the races I go. So it's cr processing all that stuff, putting it in the back office, and it's going, wait a sec. You just bought the pillow cases. Do you need a pillow insert? Now that's a logical upsell. Wouldn't you guys agree? Say yes if you, if you agree, right? So now we're going to sell pillowcases. It's going, man, I, I, I guess I do need the pillowcases, right? So I hit two pillowcases. Hey, yes, add that to my order. And bam, again. One click upsell, they don't have to pull out their credit card again. We're charging the exact same credit card we did on the coffee mug, and they're getting another email. Now, I show this funnel because this funnel was built by uh, my son's site, my son, and now we're getting out of congruency. So now he's got a T-shirt in the process. For his brand, it's called MTI, Movement Towards Improvement, Trust the Process. But no one knows from the Facebook ads what this is, so you can see how it's out of congruency. Now, if you had a golf shirt here, a cool design on a golf shirt, maybe he'd sell another one. But I don't want this. I don't know what MTI is, so I'm going to hit no thank you. So I hit no thank you. And it's like, okay, well, I don't want that. Wait a second, do you want a mug? Or, you know, the, the, the travel mug. Well, again, I don't know what MTI is. I don't want the travel mug. So you see how it's out of congruency, and you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit no thank you on that one. And there we go. Thank you. I got my order number. I got my 12th hole. I got my, my pillowcase. I got my pillow insert. And there's my receipt. So... That is our one-click upsell live. How cool was that? You guys like that? Is that pretty slick, pretty cool? You can go up to five levels deep. Now let me show you how you can create one of these in less than one minute, okay? So this is, let me, I'm going to click on this live, and let's see if I'm logged in. I'm going, yeah, there we go. So I'm going into the back office of T-Rex, and I'm going to click on funnels, and I'm going to hit add new funnel. And it brings me to a page like this. I'm going to type in Sean Demo, and I'm going to go, okay, the first thing I want in my funnel is the heat-changing mug. So I've already got these products in my store. I've already built these products in, these, these, these products in here, right? And so I choose that. Then they're going to check out the cart. And then the first upsell, I want to be the pillow insert, matching famous golf hole pillowcases, okay? And then if they buy the pillowcases, I want to sell them the pillow insert. Do you need the pillow insert? You see that, how easy this is? Then if they buy the pillow insert, I'm going to say, do you want the matching uh, the T-shirt 
If they don't buy the thing, I'm going to say, you want the T-shirt? And I'm going to stop right there. I could go another level, but I'm going to stop right there. And if they don't buy the pillowcases, I'm going to say the downsell is going to be when you want a travel mug. If they don't want the travel mug, I can stop there, or I can choose. I can go as deep as I want. I can go five levels deep. I can choose the upsell, downsell, upsell, downsell, upsell, downsell. When I'm done, I hit publish. Boom. That's how fast I create a one-click funnel in our system. Now, there's obviously some time that goes into creating the products up front, but that's how you can create your funnels and you can do stuff with your funnels. And this, again, is exclusive to T-Rex and our system. So, again, I like the, I just like to see it on a scale of 1 to 10. Tell me what you guys think of our one-click upsells and our one-click funnels. Cool. This is powerful, right? This is powerful, powerful stuff. That's super, super cool. I see the tens coming in, astonishing, bang, bong, wonderful, absolutely. Okay, cool. Okay, so here's the bottom line with these four strategies I just shared with you. If you combine all four of these, you're sure to increase your revenues by 300, 300 to 600%, and maybe even more, depending on how well you're doing already, right? So this is the difference between, um, you know, really making a lot of money and going broke, right? Pretty cool stuff. Okay, step number four. We really want you guys to consider using us for your for your uh, fulfillment and stuff like that. We are a complete white label solution, and all that. That's not a picture of our building. I thought it was a good representation. Uh, it's a big, big building. 165,000 square feet is humongous, right? And we do. We drop ship aprons and baby onesies and bibs and leggings and all of our sublimation and canvas art and baby blankets and coffee mugs. And we laser engrave personalized wine glasses, personalized Bible covers, uh, all kinds of stuff. We just go on and on and on and on. We're now doing personalized cutting boards. We have personalized night lights for the kids for Christmas. We got personalized dog bowls for the pet industry. We got these beautiful camas arts. We got these wine totes. So we have all, and this is just a small sampling of what we have, right? And with print text, what happens is, is all of the orders are fulfilled UPS. We're in Hannibal, Missouri. We're right in the middle of the country. So things get shipped extremely fast because we're right in the middle of the country. No matter if you're going east or west, they're getting there because we're shipping it from the middle of the country, right? We give you tracking numbers. They're provided for all customers. Everything is printed, I mean shipped with a tracking number. We give you a dashboard where you can look online and you can see your tracking orders and where they are in the process. And in addition, let's say you want to have some stuff shipped that you make. You already have a thousand of this or five thousand out or you make it. You ship it to Randy and he'll do fulfillment for you just like fulfillment by Amazon will do. And I see people are asking, do we ship outside of the UK and Australia? And yes, we do. We ship all over the world. We give you guys preferred pricing. Somebody always says to me, well, can, well if, we, if we do bigger volume, can we get a price break? Well, because we're kind of like on a co-op situation and because we inventory the stuff and it's print on demand, we give everybody the same price. right? So it doesn't matter if you sell one or a hundred, you're going to get the same price or one or a hundred or a thousand. If you're going to get the same price, you're going to get amazing pricing. And then we do flat rate shipping on all items. So it's easy to calculate your profits. It's easy to calculate your shipping costs. Between $3 and $8.50 is pretty much what we charge for all of our flat rate shipping. And then we fulfillment on any product you want. So if let's say you source another product or you've been really selling your own stuff, we'll, we'll fulfill it for you if you want. And we do do global fulfillment. Now, when I say global fulfillment, there's obviously lots of places we don't ship to. But for the most part, United Kingdom, um, um, you, you're all over Europe, Australia, you know, we, we go to all those places via Federal Express. Okay, so that's number four. As, and, and again, with us, you're going to be able to contact us. You're going to be able to communicate with us. We do boot camps. We want you to come. We want you to come and see the plant. We want you to meet our team. We want you to see the processes of how print on demand is done. We want everything to work for you and you to be there to do that. So we're on step five, and then we're going to be real close to giving away our store. So step five is building brand equity. Again, I just want to plant this seed that whatever you're doing, whatever business you're in, no matter your e-commerce, no matter what it is, try to think about building something that has some brand equity. Try to build something that um, is going to add value to your asset, right? And people say, well, what is brand equity exactly? So brand equity is the value of your brand in the mind of the consumer. And it's a function of how you make them feel about your brand. And that's with consistent brand messaging. One vision, one mission, one brand, pictures, sayings, lines, logos. And I'm going to give you just an example. Oh, before that, real quick. So my business partner, 
our our main company is called Celebrity Lifestyle Brands, and my business partner Bert Ullman, I'm the president, he's the CEO. He's arguably one of the biggest branding and fashion moguls in the world. He used to run FUBU for Damon John, and he took FUBU from 70 million to 700 million. Then he went and ran Fat Fashions and went from 80 million to 800 million. He's currently the CEO of a company called Star Branding with Tommy Hilfiger. It says five billion in deals, but he's actually done over six billion dollars in deals. He launched the brands for Jennifer Lopez, Adam Levine, Nicki Minaj, and many, many others. So when it comes to uh, you building a brand and you wanting to build something of significance, we're really good people to have on your team. And what we do is we partner with celebrities and influencers and we help them monetize their fan base through e-commerce and fashion. So I want to share that with you because maybe you know a celebrity, maybe you know an influencer, maybe you know somebody who's got a 10 million fans on YouTube or Instagram and we can help them build their brand and their fashion line and we can pay you a little finder's fee. So here's an example of Nikki Lund's website. You know, we went the extra mile to get beautiful photography. We took all of her clothes, we put them on mannequins, we took beautiful photo shoots, then we um, we photoshopped out the mannequins to make shots like this. So you can see how we're, the, the logo and the lines and the photography and everything we've done has been class. And we even went and got hang tags, and we got buttons and we got labels. And so we know how to do this stuff. We know how to really change it from one. We have poly bags that we ship it in. We have tissue that we ship it in. So we're building a brand because that's going to increase the value of our asset. And you may have a business where you want to do this as well. Okay, so you guys ready for to pick a winner? All right, that's my five steps. So look, please share some comments on what you thought of tonight's training. Did you guys find this valuable? Dang, yes, yes, wow, great, excellent, sweet, incredible. Yes, very eye-opening, very valuable, amazing stuff. I feel much more confident, incredible, very valuable. Wow, sweet. I thank you for those, those awesome comments. That's awesome. Thank you for that. Okay, so boom, I like that one. Okay, so let me show you what I got and what we're going to get a, give it away, what we're going to give away and how it can help you, okay? So we are known for creating what we call these done-for-you e-commerce storefronts. We've been selling a mugs galore done-for-you e-commerce storefront. So if you want to sell mugs, which by the way, way, if you go to Google Trends, you type in coffee mugs, you'll see every year since they've been doing Google Trends, it trends tenfold every November, December, and January, winter time and Christmas time. And we've, and we've been putting people in business selling mugs. We do all the fulfillment. And then we've been selling these family and grandmas, a niche site to market families and grandmas, for aunts, uncles, grandpas, grandmas, the whole family. And all the stuff gets fulfilled by Printex. It just pumps right into Printex. And then we've been doing school zone gear. Let me ask you this question. How many people are out there, you're like the team mom, you're involved in the PTA, you know, we, we refer to you as the soccer mom. How many people, do we have any soccer moms out there really involved in the community? Because school zone gear could be for you, right? Oh, yeah, I see a soccer dad. Uh, school zone gear is a little different. The idea of school zone gear is rather than you sitting on the computer and trying to make sales online, is you go to all the schools in your community and you build a storefront where they can go do fundraisers and they can get a logoed hoodie, they can get a logoed t-shirt, they can get a logoed whatever, and then school pride type gear, and then the, the kids can go sell it and make fundraiser and you facilitate. You now become in the apparel industry and you do that for them. Okay? So I see a lot of people saying, yeah, I'm the soccer moms and soccer dads. Soccer granddad, I love it. And then we said, well, I want to create one for churches. So we create we create one for church merch. So we can we're putting churches in business so they can sell their own stuff. And then we have the gift and accessory store. So now we have sit and we have canvas art. Canvas art is hot. Everybody's got a wall. Everybody can be passionate. You can put anything on canvas art. You can personalize canvas art. Just amazing, right? So we have six done for you stores. So we were sitting around thinking, and we said, okay. We're ready to kind of do a launch. We're ready to do a marketing campaign. We're ready to let the world know we exist because we really haven't. Even though we have a thousand customers, no one knows who we, we we're, we're just now getting out there for the first time. So we said, let's create the T-Rex Mega Store. And the T-Rex Mega Store is the massive e-commerce growth accelerator, right? It's a complete done for you e-commerce storefront that comes with, you, you put it on your domain. You buy a domain, we build the store on your domain. You put in your Stripe account, your, your merchant account, your PayPal account, and you get the customer. We're going to take all six done-for-you stores and we're going to put them into one store. And that added up to over 2,250 different products. We pre-built 140 done-for-you campaigns and we covered 
five of the seven hottest niches, including health and fitness and beauty, clothing and apparel, personalization, pet products, trends and fads. I see a lot of OMGs coming through. It is really amazing. So let me go ahead and take you live to trexmegastore.com. So here's the opportunity. Here's what we're getting ready to give away. And let me log out of here. I want to log out. I don't like being logged in when I do this demo. So I'm at the trexmegastore.com. And you can see under categories, we have the family, the mugs, the faith, the school zone, the gift accessories, and the canvas wall art. Okay? And then what we did is we organized the home page. Oh, you see this little thing popping up? This is one of our plugins. We organized the home page with eight products from each category. So each eight products from each category. So we eight products from, from the canvas art. You come and then you can shop all canvas art. And then we have eight products from the families and grandmas. Okay. Then you come down, you have eight products from the mugs. Then you come down, you have eight products from the family. Now, again, because this is a WordPress, if you said I wanted to remove any of this or delete any of it or hide it, you could get rid of it. Then we have eight products from gift and accessories. And then we have eight products from the school zone gear. Okay? So that's the home page, right? And then you come down here at the bottom. So what we want to do is we're going to put your logo up here where it says T-Rex Megastore. We're going to put your logo up here. So let's say it's Greg's Gift Shop. It's gonna, we're going to put Greg's Gift Shop logo over here. We're going to change out your phone number over here where it says the phone number. And then if you have live help, we're going to put your live help on. If you don't have live help, we're going to help you get that if you don't want it. But the bottom line is this is now going to be your store on your domain. And let me take you a little deeper. So let's go to Canvas Art. I'm going to shop all Canvas Art. These are all done for you Canvas Arts that you can sell. So let's say you're a patriot and you want to start selling you know, these patriotic flag Canvas Arts to people that have offices. Uh, look at these beautiful things. Now, to give you an idea how big these are, the larges, look at this. The middle piece is 16 by 32. The outside pieces are 14 by 28, and the third piece is 12 by 24. So they're two feet tall, um, and you can see how big these are, right? Now, to give you an idea, this site's listing it for $199. You can sell them for more. I know people that are selling these for $250, $300. Um, you're, getting it ship, you're getting it from us for $109. We make it. And, and ship it for 109 plus I can't remember how much shipping handling is, but 109. So you have $90 profit if you were to sell it for 199, right? And then of course we have happy customers because we know that part of you making more sales is the social proof. So we already have people that have sent us pictures of their art hanging in their work. We started with this little St. Louis thing. It's in there, so now we've got that on here, and you got your guarantee made in the USA and that kind of stuff, right? So I, I don't have time to show you all. Of the of the canvas arts, but suffice it to say, there's probably over a hundred canvas art. Now, now a lot of people ask, I'm a photographer, can I add my own art? Yes, you can get your own art, you can license your own art, you can get this stuff, you can do whatever you want, right? You can get you can, you can add this and, and you can change it, you can delete it, you can get rid of it, whatever you want. It's it's a WordPress store, it's your e-commerce storefront. So let me go back one more time, go to home. So that's the canvas art. Now let me take you into families and grandmas just for a second. I'm going to show you one more. So who out there is a grandmother? Tell me how many grandkids you have. Let me scroll through this. Tell me how many grandkids you have and what they call you. So I, I want to know what, how many grandkids you have and what they call you. Do they call you Nana? Do they call you Grammy? What do they call you? Okay, so I see uh, they're coming in. Papa. So 13 and Nana. So I'm going to show you the, a live demo real quick. So watch this. I go to this this this. I have reasons. So it says, I have 12 reasons I love being a grandma. Okay, I'm going to put in, I thought, I thought I saw seven, and I saw Papa. Papa, and I'm going to hit preview. And do you think we have a shirt that says, I have seven grandkids, or seven reasons I love being a Papa? Ooh, doggy, we have that one in stock, people. <laughs> and check it out. We put it on the piece of jewelry that she can wear around her necklace and show everyone how much she loves them. We put it on the we put it on the apron so she can wear it around as she's cooking. We put it on the the pillow. She wants to have a pillowcase. All of these products are made at Hannibal, Missouri, and everything's shipped from Hannibal. Everything's done right there. And that's what's so cool about our personalization engine. It's just so unique to us. It really gives you the edge. It really makes it easier. And look at how many products we have in the families and grandma section. There's, there's dozens of products with dozens and dozens and dozens of, of designs. And I can just, I'm just going to scroll just to give you guys a little input. We got grandpas. We got uncles. We got dads and dogs and pets. Look at this stuff. I'm the crazy mom. I'm the crazy mom everyone warned you about. 
I'm the best mom in the world is voted by five really super smart kids. And you can put your own designs on any of these products. You can, you can hire your own designer. You can be your own designer. Look at this. I can just keep scrolling and 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 scrolling. You guys see it, right? Look at this. Baby onesies, baby bibs. Where are you going to get a, a customized, personalized baby bib? T-Rex. I love my dog. Okay, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go show you. I, I don't have time to show you all these categories. I'm going to show you. Are you guys loving this? You guys think this is awesome? Say yes, this is awesome. We really have gone the extra mile to make something so cool. So you got the coffee mugs. Again, I can show you hundreds of coffee mugs that we have. You got the faith. You got laser engraved Bible cover, customized Bible covers, uh, gift and accessories. Let me show you gift and accessories real quick. Is you can make some sales. These little fidget spinners could be an upsell for Christmas. You know, personalized dog bowls. But these little night lights, these are the coolest little toys. These are little night lights that you can that you can personalize. And people are doing them for their school mascots. They're doing them for their their uh, their logos for their business. And there's just all kinds of them. And you can create your own design, and we'll we'll make them for you with your own design. And they're personalized. We're going to crush it with these on Christmas. We're going to sell thousands and thousands of these at Christmas time. So it's just really cool that we have all this kind of stuff. And you can see we got socks, and we got wine glasses, and wine totes, and pillows. And I think these cutting boards are going to go crazy. Uh, flasks, um, just all kinds of stuff. This is something I want to get for my dog. So this is a this is like a little uh, a scarf, right? And again, it's personalized. I like put my dog's name on a scarf. And the other thing that we snuck in at the last minute with some really high-end Nye Harding Moore skin care. This stuff is won awards, it's celebrity endorsed, it's amazing, and you guys are going to have your own skin care, and we're going to do a little bit better job uh, on getting some more copy for you, but we snuck in at the last minute. Okay, so as cool as that is, it gets even better, right? It gets even better because we recognize you guys need some long-form sales pages. So what we did is we went ahead and built three long-form sales pages templates for you that you can use. So here's one for Texas Strong. So say you want to raise money for the hurricane victims. Nice headline, you know, raising money, and you can swap any of these images out. You can change the price. You can do whatever you want. But we've built them for you, and we've addressed the concerns that people have. How good is the quality, right? Hey, it's shipped from Hannibal, Missouri, the heart of USA, 100% cotton. It's inspected. What about returns? We have easy returns. If you're not happy in any way, just let us know. We have a contact us. Here's your email. Here's our phone number. More pictures. People buy with their eye. You got to have good pictures. Money back guarantee. And then of course we have a happy customer gallery that you get to leverage because we've already have happy customers. I think we've done over 15,000 Texas strong shirts in the last uh, three weeks. So there's one long form sales page, but we're going to give you a second, or actually three long form sales pages. Here's one for canvas art. Right, beautiful canvas art in an office setting. Here's a beautiful canvas art in a, in, a, in, a, in a setting here. Here's a canvas art over here in another one. See again, see, how, and you can just copy these and duplicate them, whatever you want. And guess what? On the Texas Strong, we actually built a funnel on the background for you. So there's a funnel built in too. So you have your own funnel built. And then of course we got the night lights. And we're gonna have training step by step, paint by numbers. How you guys can do this? We're gonna teach you stuff that other people won't teach you. We're going to show you the strategies. We're going to show you what works. We're going to show you how to split test. We're going to show you how to do Facebook ads. We're going to show you everything because guess what? We want you to succeed. We want you to succeed. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'm coming back to my PowerPoint. Pretty cool stuff, right? So I want to share with you real quick one quick story about what's possible. And then we're going to do this giveaway. So this is a friend of mine, Irwin. He actually offices in my office. He came to me in September 2015, and we started getting him on board as an intern learning Facebook ads. Eight months later, uh, when he got into e-commerce e e space, he did his first million dollars. He finished up 2016 with over three and a half million dollars and 700,000 in profits. He's traveled around the country with his profits and living on the laptop and hire people to run his business he's doing really really well that's what's possible am I saying you're gonna do that no but that is what's possible okay so let's pick a winner okay you guys ready so here's what how we're gonna do this you guys took notes you guys engage you guys have been amazingly engaging and it's just amazing how many people are on this line uh, and I'm just making some notes here because I want to make sure I do this right Okay, so I'm going to ask you guys a question. It's a two-part question. Here's the rules. You must answer the question with both parts. You can't do one part and then enter and then do the second part. We can't track that. You must put both 
answers. It's a two-part question. You must put two answers in your question, hit submit, and the first person to submit their answer is going to win. I'm going to hit the mouse and and when I are you guys ready? Here we go. Here's the question. What marketing strategy will increase your sales by two to three hundred percent? And what step number was that in tonight's training? Oh, the answers are flying in. I can't even see them. They're coming in so fast. Oh my gosh. I love it. Two part answer, answer both of them. While my Steven's looking for the winner, let me show you a few other things of what's included. Okay. Here's what's included with that. We have lightning fast, dedicated servers, optimized to run our software. We have daily backups. We have softwares installed, tested, and working. We have controlled WordPress updates. We have complete cPanel installation. I see the answers are still flying in. I think you guys, I've seen the right answer two or three times, so I think you guys are be okay because we're going to pick the first person. You can go ahead and stop with that. We're going to give you 24-7 email support. We're going to do phone support for you, and we give you a powerful WordPress premium Divi theme, and you're going to get multiple, it says two, but you're going to get multiple one-hour group onboarding calls so we make sure we get you up and running, right? In addition, we have these apps. We have a T-Rex mailer. It does the broadcast emails, the sequential emails. We also integrate with MailChimp. We have the opt-in builder that ties right to the personalization, which I showed you like on that coffee mug. We have the survey builder, so you can do surveys that ties in the personalization. We have the testimonial not notification pop-up that helps increase social proof. We have the import and export feature, so if you end up getting a second or a third store, you can share your products from one store to another. We have the funnel builder, which I showed you with and I blew you away. We have the notification banner. We have the Printex account management integration, and we have the exit pop-up creator. We have the coupon builder. We have the personalization engine, and if you were to get all these apps for Shopify, it would cost you about $630 a month. Pretty, pretty amazing offer. Wouldn't you guys agree? Oh, but most importantly, we're going to give you the T-Rex membership account, paint by number software and training, Facebook ads training, advanced and beginner, priority 24-hour support, access to our private Facebook community, and twice weekly Ask the Experts marketing training webinars. I can't tell you how important this is. You show up, we'll show up. We will be there getting you unstuck. We will be there helping you. We will be there getting it going for you. And I can't, again, emphasize how critical coaching and mentoring is. Again, full full disclosure, this particular screenshot was taken from a student that was that paid extra money to get hands-on three-day training with one of our coaches. And before coaching, they were doing less than 500 a day. After coaching, they went to over 6,000 a day. Now, those are the kind of numbers that are possible if you want to make the investment in time and do it, right? And let me play one test my real quick, and then we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, Stevens probably found the winner by now. We're going to tell you who it is, but listen to this real quick. Hi, I'm Dwight Gillowitz, my partner Ken Anderson, our slug Danny Bonarman Schultz. Or General Manager, either way. Either way. Uh, we just want to give a quick shout out to T Rex and Greg Ryder and the whole crew there. We've uh, been using T Rex, and uh, with T Rex, we've generated well over $3.5 million in sales. And we really appreciate working with the crew at T Rex. Randy, Greg, and all of the others have been extremely helpful. Lots of support. We love the new products that they, they put out, and uh, it's been a great experience working with them. And if you want to start selling fast, there's no other platform that will get you up and selling as fast as T-Rex. Yeah, we, uh, without T-Rex, our business would not be where it is today. So we're, we're happy with T-Rex. We love working with them and look forward to a future with them you know, over the next few years and grow with them as they grow. And that's about it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, T-Rex. Thank you. So we're fortunate to have guys like this. These guys do about eight figures a year, and they, they coach a lot of people. So my question to you is what would it be worth to you to have a complete storefront built, stocked with a product and ready to start selling? Give me a number. Like what is that number? What is your time worth? How much would you pay to have somebody build you a store, put it in two, over 2,000 products, build the campaigns, build the funnels? I mean, we were talking earlier about Ryan Dyson. They sell the funnels at Digital Marketer, and people pay $15,000 to have a funnel built, right? So what would you pay? What would that be worth to you to have your own thing. It'd be interesting to see the numbers come through. Okay, so let's pick a grand prize winner. And so, we, oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. The answer was step three in long form sales pages. And the winner is Stephen. Do we have a winner? Thank goodness you told me the answer. So I was certain that I picked the right person because this is a big deal. I certainly want to, wouldn't want to pick the wrong person. So, drum roll, please. The winner of the brand new T Rex Mega Store is. 
Sean Snyder, come on down. You're the proud recipient of your brand new T-Rex Mega Store. Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, Sunday. Wait, I thought we were going to the Monster Truck Rally. Sorry, guys. That's awesome. Sean Snyder. Sean Snyder, you got to Skype us your phone number, your email, put it in put it in the question box so we have all your contact information and we will take care of you, right? Sweet. Okay, people, here we go. So obviously we want everybody to have a T-Rex store. If you want a T-Rex store, put a one in the box. Please let me know if you're serious. You want to get an e-commerce business. You want to get an e-commerce business before Kiss Christmas. I, I want to see the ones out there. So I see a lot of people saying one. I see the congratulations to Sean. Cool. Okay. So if you really want to get in the business, you want to be ready for Christmas, you guys agree this is a great solution, right? Everyone would agree this is a great solution. Nod your head yes and say yes, right? Okay, so now you're sitting there going, what's the price, Greg? Get to the price. Listen to the price. So let me kind of share with you the logic of, of how we came with this pricing, right? So our normal, what we've been selling, our normal done-for-you's, our rack rate's $2,497 for one done-for-you. That was the families and grandmas. That was the mug store. That was the school. You know, one done-for-you. Plus, you pay $97 a month. We have to have everybody pay $97 a month because that's our membership, that's our hosting, that covers all the training, that's our membership and hosting fee. Everyone has to pay that. So we thought to ourselves, well, you're getting six done for you stores all built into one. I literally, Stephen and I have literally had a half a dozen people work for well over six weeks building this store. I mean, thousands of hours building this store, right? The value is like $24.97 times six. That's how I got that number, $14,982. And, you know, we thought to ourselves, we're not going to sell it for that. We're not going to ask you guys for 15 grand. We know that, right? But we thought a fair price would be 4997 plus 97 a month. Because after all, you're getting a complete done for you storefront. You're getting your domain, so your merchant account, your asset, your customer, six done for you stores all built in one, over 2,250 products, 140 done for you campaigns. Now, let me ask you a question. If money wasn't an issue and you, have, you had a million dollars in the bank, Tell me yes if you think five grand plus ninety seven dollars a month would be a good value deal. If you, money wasn't an issue, right? I see the yeses coming through. It is a good. I mean, you think about that. You can't get this done for five grand. You couldn't hire anyone to do this for five grand, right? And we covered five of the hottest niches. So here's what we did. We thought about it. We go, look, we want this to be affordable, but we also want to know that you're committed because we recognize that if if you make a, a decent investment you're going to show up. Whereas if you don't make a decent investment, you might not show up. And here's what we know. If you show up, you're going to get results. If you show up, we're going to show up. If you, if you show up, we will show up. Stephen will be there. Our team will be there every week answer, answering your questions. If you show up, we will show up, and you're going to get results. So we said $1,997 plus $97 a month. That's where you can get your T-Rex store. If you know this is you and you're ready to go, I'm gonna I'm gonna share some bonus gifts right now. And the first people to go get the orders in are gonna get these bonus gifts. But you can just go to T-RexMegastore.com forward slash Sean. T-RexMegastore.com forward slash Sean. And if you, if you're gonna do that, just say yeah, I'm in. I, I've seen enough. I'm gonna go get this. I want this. I want to be up and running. I want to be in e-commerce e for Christmas. Go ahead and let us know. Say yes, that's me we get an idea because I, I, I saw a lot of people want to do this, right? So let me play another testimony for you because I want you to hear this one because this one talks about something a little bit different that's important. Hey everybody, it's David McKinney and I'm so happy today to be able to do, give an endorsement and a hearty recommendation for the T-Rex platform for e-commerce. The reason I'm giving the endorsement and, and, giving, and throwing my support behind all the folks over at T-Rex are actually really threefold Maybe I'll throw in another one for just for fun. But the first one is uh, whenever you align yourself to do business with a company, you want to be able to take a look at the leadership. And you want to be able to say, do these folks have integrity? Do they really care about me, um, a person that maybe is just starting out or a, a, uh, an expert in e-commerce? And I have to say that I know the folks. I, I know Greg Ryder. I know Stephen West. I know uh, Randy Park and some of the other owners of and support team of the T-Rex e-commerce platform, and I will say wholeheartedly that they are absolute men and women of integrity that care about you as an e-commerce um, provider of things that you want to be able to promote online uh, through their platform. Uh, the second thing I wanted to mention is that the products 
that are on that you can have your own products, but the store that is being promoted currently is uh, the T-Rex Mega Store that will come with around 2,000 different products in it already. But the important thing about these uh, products is that they're being shipped out of Randy Park facility, uh, Randy Park's facility, and uh, in Hannibal, Missouri, and they are all U.S.-based. The products come from the United States with very fast turnaround times. Third thing I want to mention is to support. Not only is the great people with great integrity, but and great products U.S.-based uh, drop shipped. But the other thing is that these that the uh, the training that you get and how to succeed. There's your success is their you know desire. So when people have that desire to provide you training, well, there's two trainings a week on a Tuesday and Thursdays um, that will give you everything from how to do Adobe Photoshop uh, targeting, for instance, and the pixeling in Facebook. All of this is all available at, with one company helping you out. So I like that one because I want people to hear about you know we take integrity serious. You know, on my business card, I have our values on there. We're, we're all about integrity. We're all about delivering. And we are want you to succeed. So let me show you what the bonuses are. So I think this could be one of the most valuable bonuses that we ever give away. Um, I'm a former investment banker. I've coached thousands of entrepreneurs. I've made a lot of money. I've lost a lot of money. I've started a lot of businesses. Some are lots of, lots of them are failures. Some are successes. And I own a software project and task management platform that I own. And I'm going to give you a VIP access to this for a year. It's a $97 a month platform. I'm giving you the VIP access for a year. Not going to charge you a dime. You and your team can use it. I promise you, it can change your life. It's going to help you maximize your productivity. It's going to save you time and money. It's going to help you systemize your business. It's going to help you get organized. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of entrepreneurs on this call that need this. In addition, I'm going to give you some additional training on how to manage your projects, how to manage your tasks. It'll literally revolutionize how effective you are and what you accomplish and what you get done. And this is the difference between making money and not. If you can't organize your tasks and your projects, you can't be successful, period. Second, if you said to me, well, Greg, I've never heard of T-Rex. I just want Printex. We charge $1,000 to get your vendor account set up and or $47 a month. That's a one-time fee or $47 a month forever. You get complete white label branding, get the catalog and all that kind of stuff. Everything is shipped between 24 to 72 hours. We're going to throw this in as part of the package. In addition, we do events. We're doing the T-Rex Ecom Live event where we have a, 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 a number of seven-figure and eight-figure speakers coming to the event. The next one's October 26th, 28th. We actually added a 29th to it for a boot camp. And these tickets are retail for $14.97. Burnt almonds flying in from New York City. You should get it. You should get this package just to come to this event and meet Burnt. I mean, to be in the same room and eat bread and break bread with Burnt Ullman is pretty significant. I mean, this guy's a multi-billion dollar. Uh, Stephen refers to him as a six billion dollar guy. Uh, and what we do a little bit different is we buy we 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 pay for breakfast and lunch, and you get to sit. Let's say you got an Amazon business, you're stuck. You want to sit with Steven. Steven's going to do $3 million this year. You sit and break bread with Steven and ask Steven questions. Let's say you want to build a brand. You sit and you break bread with Bern Ullman. Let's say you want to talk to me. You sit and you get to have a chance to eat with me. We That's different. Most speakers are gone. All of our speakers stay around and do that kind of stuff. So again, here's what you're getting. You're getting the six done for you stores. You get all the apps included, the print text drop ship, the BizPad for a year, the T-Rex Live ticket, $25,000 value. But forget all of that. The most valuable thing is the membership marketing trainings. We can give you the store. We can give you the apps. We can give you BizPad. But without the training and the people that really want to see you succeed, it's not as good as it can be. That's why we put so much value on the marketing training. One more testimony, and then we're going to wrap it up and answer questions. So this is from a guy that just came from our, Kevin Jackson, that just came from our boot camp. And I'm going to just pick out a couple sentences here. I've been involved in Internet marketing for about five years. And like most of you, I've kissed my fair share of frogs looking for my princess. And I've seen quite a few done few businesses in the past, but this is as close as you'll ever get to having one. The people there are first class. They bend over backward to make you successful because they truly realize that their success is tied to us, the entrepreneurs, being successful. This is a class organization with dedicated people after spending two full 10-hour days at their factory and seeing the processes and the support staff, I would highly recommend you go all in with this launch. These are quality products made and shipped from the USA with a quick turnaround time. Okay, so there's my testimonies. We're the real deal. Who wants a better deal? You're on the fence. You're sitting going, give me a better deal and I'm in, Ryder. Give me a better deal and I'm in. So here we go. This is my final offer. 
1997, but we're going to waive and give you the first year membership for free. So that's a $1,200 savings. So just go to trexmegastore.com slash Sean. And you're, you're going to pay it starting a year from now. It'll be $97 a month. But you get the Megastore delivered. And this store will be up and running for you in the next five to seven business days. And I want to ask one question, and then I want to get Sean on here, see if we've got any questions to go on. Um, there's the recap of what you're getting. Remember that membership marketing training is priceless. And I want to ask you, if you're sitting there and you're going, man, this is what I want. I need this. I'm thinking about this. What's it going to cost you not to take action? Like how much are you going to not make this Christmas season because you didn't take action today? And I want you to just think about that because some people are going to make $50,000 in the next two to three months. Some people are going to make $100,000. Some are going to make $10,000. What's it going to cost you not to take action? We don't want you to be in the same place two months from now, five months from now, six months from now. We want you in. This is our best offer ever. And I can promise you this, this mega store is going away. We did this just for our launch. We are going to have it up for just a little bit of time, and then it's gone. It's, it, we're not going to offer it anymore. So the mega store is going away. So with that, I will say thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Let's, let's see who's on the line and answer some questions now. Hey, everybody. It's Sean. I want to jump in here. Uh, uh, it's, I've been watching uh, the webinar and all the feedback and everything, and I, I've seen people uh, absolutely going crazy over uh, – the stores and the personalization and everything that you get here and and um, how many of you have even before today thought about getting into e-commerce or tried to get into e-commerce and thought wow you know I'd love to get a store set up I'd love to be able to to have some products to sell because I, I know I could make sales who who thinks that would be a great idea okay a bunch of people all right Apple Anna Ed and more all right and Here's the thing. I, I know a lot of people have tried to set up stores, to sh set up Shopify stores, to um, set them up on different platforms, to hire people to build them. Uh, I, I know uh, we've got one of our WebFire members who spent, uh, I think he's at like $8,000 now getting his custom store built, and he can't even do anything with it because every time he gets stuck, he's got to go back to the programmer because it was built by one guy who's the only guy who knows how it works. Uh, um, one of the frustrations that I see from people is just trying to get the store built. Forget about what products you're going to sell because that's a whole other frustration that people get into is this, you know, how do I get my store built? Because you can't make sales to get the store built. With this done-for-you mega store that you're getting from Greg and his team, you can be actually selling products Okay, not building your store, but selling products in a few days. So if you think about, boy, the end of the week, I could be actually t making sales. I can be lined up and running for the holiday season. That's pretty awesome. Uh, you have to be very skilled and extraordinary to even begin to think about doing that um, on another platform. But the next thing is that you've got all these products, especially all these different personalized products that you can promote to people and that make obvious funnels that go together. Greg was talking about funnels. You guys are familiar with funnels from our training. And they're super important to making a profit. You know, for a lot of products that people want to promote, you know, that are random dropship products from China, there aren't, you know, obvious parts of funnels to go to people and nor uh, can you usually get all the products shipped together. Whereas here with all these personalized products, if somebody buys a mug and a t-shirt and whatever, they're all going to get produced, shipped together, and people are going to get them really quickly within a week or so because they're getting produced and shipped here in the U.S. They're not coming in three or four weeks from China. So it's a lot easier to get people uh, and make them happy. And with everything that's getting done for you here, I highly recommend you guys jump all over this because you're not going to find anything else, another platform, another offer, another system that gives you all of this and then Every week they're showing up in not only supporting you, but actually actively training you in the best practices to promote your store, to make sales, what's working for them, what's working for their top sellers and their thing. So you guys need to get all over this. If you ever thought about doing this, you need to be jumping in um, ASAP. Um, I know one of the, the top questions um, people were asking is, uh, about how fast they can get started, but but another one, uh, Greg, that, that you know, I think you could probably answer is, um, Babic is asking, you know, 
How, how does this work for newbies? What if you don't have a list and you're brand new? What are you going to do? You know, that's a great question, and, and what we're going to do is we're going to get you with your fan page set up, get your store up and going. We're going to show you like those strategies where you do contests and you do giveaways and you start getting engagement. So, for instance, with that idea, you do a giveaway, pick a number between 1 and 500, and then you get people in through Messenger and things like that. We can get you some traffic and build a list, and depending on where you're at with your Facebook ads, we're going to teach you how to build an ad, get your Facebook ads account set up, get your business manager account set up, and teach you how to run ads targeted towards whether it's Texas mechanics or whether it's you know grandmothers, whether it's uh, grandmothers with kids who like dogs. We're going to we're going to give you different um, strategies for doing Facebook advertising so you can drive traffic to your store, and make some sales, and we're going to do a lot of focus on some of the higher ticket items like. Um, the canvas are because now we can spend more money to get traffic to the website to get a customer and it's a little bit easier than if you're trying to get started selling that you know, t-shirt where you might only make eight or ten dollars right good good point good point um, so David's asking two things here one is can he change the look of the home page Yes, you can because it's WordPress. You can customize the homepage. People have taken that homepage and they, they make it however they want to make it. We just kind of made it that way and uh, to, to give people an idea. But everyone will be changing it and we'll be coach people on updating it. And, and when you go into launch a campaign, maybe you give it your own title and maybe you alter the description a little bit. Uh, so it's kind of maybe tied into your theme or your, your personality, things of that nature. But otherwise, it's ready to go. Okay, so his other question is, does your system include recurring subscription payments? I think he wants to know, can you, can you set people up on like a monthly billing? Yeah, currently we don't have that, but that is on the drawing board to add that in. It probably won't happen this fourth quarter because we're in, coming into the Christmas season, but we will probably add that so you can do subscription boxes and things like that. And because we use Stripe, it shouldn't be that difficult, um, but right now we do not. All right, and then uh, let's see. Somebody's asking, can, will this work in Africa, especially in Nigeria? Well, if you're sitting in Nigeria, we have cut clients in Nigeria right now. We have customers in South Africa and United Kingdom and all over the world. It works all over the world, uh, depending on where you're shipping and marketing to. So, like most of the people that are in, whether it's Vietnam or United Kingdom, Europe, they're selling to USA customers, but some of them are selling to people in the UK and different parts of the world. So it does work all over the world. It kind of depends on where you're marketing, where you're shipping from. And actually in some situations, you guys have an advantage. I was told the other day that people up in Canada, up in Canada because of the exchange rate, their Facebook ads costs are saving them money. And I know another guy in Mexico across the border here in San Diego, and he saves like 20 to 30% on his ad spend because he's sitting on the other side of the border. And for some reason he gets cheaper clicks than I get. Well, you never know. Sometimes there's an advantage uh, to, to being in another country. Um, when you're shipping from from the U.S., like over to the U.K. or Nigeria or anything, is there is there much of an additional shipping fee to get it from here to there? Yeah, no, there is. It, it costs more to ship internationally, and it also takes longer, just just as if they were shipping it from China to here. So uh, it's like 14 to 21 days, typically, depending on where you're shipping it to. Okay. Uh, now... There's one question which I want to answer because I get this question about every market all the time. Somebody says, well, isn't this going to get oversaturated? Well, yeah. let, me, let me ask you this. How many people are on the planet? Seven billion. Okay. How many of those are online? More than half. Let's call it, just call it three billion. Okay. Out of those three billion, how many people go to have an affinity for an organization, a school, a church, some place that you can personalize to? How many of them are parents, grandparents? I mean, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. You know, how many people live in all the big states in America that you could be marketing? You know, I mean, why does Texas strong work? Because people in Texas are proud of Texas, and there's a lot of them, like millions. There's no way to saturate this. That's like asking if Amazon's going to be able enough people, you know, have enough people to be able to sell to every year. So they could keep growing from oh they own the hundred billion in e-commerce they did um, last year, right? The market is so big you can't saturate it. You just can't. I mean, uh -huh. you know, once well, upon a time there were three TV channels. Now there's like a thousand and three, and then that wasn't enough for the the populace to consume. So now we have all this online streaming. You just the the market for. Everything is so big that you can't possibly saturate it. 
and no one person, because I get this question a lot, it's like, well, Greg, if, I'm sure you've gotten this question, well, Greg, if this is so good, why don't you just sell everything to everyone yourself? It's like, that would be like a trillion dollar company. It just, you can't do it. I mean, Greg, Greg I'm sure wishes he could, but he can't. The marketplace and everything else is too big. Well, in our model, just so you guys are clear, is we want to get T-Rex, and T-Rex feeds Printex, and we own Printex, and, and, and we want to get, let's say, uh, 500 new customers, and then we want to go, when we're getting rid of the megastore, we'll go back to just our basic uh, install. We want to get 10,000 people on Shopify and Amazon all feeding Printex, and we can take that to $100 million a year business doing the fulfillment. So being that we're internet marketers and we have these long form sales pages and these funnels, we create a cool, cool, cool platform, especially with the personalization. And I, and I see this question that William's asking about a guarantee and I'm glad somebody asked that because I want to say this. So uh, I'm one of these guys that I've taught and from a marketing perspective that you always offer a money back guarantee. But in this situation, if, if you're not serious about starting an e-commerce business and if you're concerned about the money, then maybe this isn't for you because we want people that are serious. Like we want you to show up, and we're going to show up. We're going to get results. We're going to help you build a real business, uh, and we're not offering a money back guarantee after we build your store. Because I think of it like you go to the we're, we're we're like giving you a Lamborghini filled with all the all the extras, right? Or a car. You're going to the car dealership, and you're getting a car. And I don't want you to drive around the car for three or four weeks or two months, and then come back and go. Yeah, it didn't work for me. I want my money back. So it's, we we don't offer a money back guarantee, and the reason why is that we spend about 14 hours to build these stores. I have a little team of people working 24 hours a day building stores for people right now. That's how I can tell you we're going to get you up in five to seven days. It takes us time to set up the hosting, to set up the cPanel, to install the stuff, to get your domain, to change the DNS, to install the SSL certificates and then hand everything over to you. It's a lot of work. So we're not offering any money back guarantees. If for some reason you changed your mind or you had a hurricane hit within the next couple of days while we're building your store before we deliver you the store, uh, we would honor the refund, and we're, we're reputable guys. And then from that standpoint, if you came back to me in three weeks, I want my money back. I'm going to I'm going to call my credit card company. I'm going to give your money back, right? But I just don't want you going into it with that. That's not the intention here. We want real people who want to build a real business. That's what we're doing. We're we're building a real business. This isn't some fly-by-night software company. We're trying to sell you some software. Hope that makes sense, Sean. Oh, it makes makes a lot of sense. Uh, Mike wants to know if he can use his own hosting. I'm going to guess the answer is no. Yeah, we, we, we have a, a hosted solution, and that way we can control all the updates and we can control the environment. And currently, we do not allow people to host the, the T-Rex WordPress on their servers. Yeah, I mean, because, Mike, it's, because the software is fully managed for you, if you were to get, like, let's say you'd get today's version, then when there's updates, changes, anything else, they, they wouldn't all exist for you if, if they were just to, to set you up and build this on a one-time basis. You, don't, you really don't want it to be that way. Um, you want it to be continually maintained and managed for you. It's, it's much better for you. Um, I, do, I do see a few people asking if there's a payment plan. And if, if you click on the link for Sean, you will see an option to pay uh, $600 for four months. So you are paying a little bit more. But it, it, it does allow people to get on a maybe a more affordable situation if, if the $2,000 in 1997 is a little bit much for you. Uh, so there is a payment plan available. Good. And now another question a couple of people are asking is, what's a typical profit margin? Like if I sell a mug or I sell a t-shirt? I realize it depends on what price you sell it for, but just to pick numbers. Yeah, so so like we sell our shirts, one color print or 20 color prints, it doesn't matter, print on demand is like an $8.50 shirt, cent shirt. So some people sell them for $12.97 is a lost leader to get them in the store. Some people sell them for $22. It depends on your niche, who you're selling it to, and that kind of stuff. And I showed you like on the canvas art, our, our, our large canvas art, we sell to you for $109, and you can sell for anything you want over $109. And some people are getting as much as $240 for that size. Uh, other people are, are selling it for less, for $179, $199. So it goes back to you spending advertising dollars, what's your customer acquisition cost, getting those pixel jock, and then we're teaching you email marketing. We're teaching you rapport building. I know you know, you guys being in Sean's community, you understand this kind of stuff. So driving traffic, and there's all kinds of ways to drive traffic. You don't necessarily have to spend money on Facebook ads. You can do search engine optimization. I know people that are doing search engine optimization for their e-commerce store with videos, using video marketing and, and YouTube lives and great video marketing strategies. So there's a lot of ways to drive traffic to your store. 
course, you've got to have a store, and you've got to get started. Right, guys? Right. right? It's only going to, be, it's going to be the way it is. Uh, Marlene, you're asking about the giveaway. They gave away the store earlier. Um, Sean somebody, not Sean me, Sean Sanders. Sean somebody won. Sean Snyder. Sean Snyder, that was it. I knew I didn't have it quite right. So he, he, was, <laughs> he was the, uh, the lucky winner of the $5,000 store. Sean Snyder, look, he just popped back in. He's like, Snyder! Okay, yes, yes, we, we uh, uh, you know, <laughs> Stephen and Craig know who won. I didn't know there. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, what else we got for questions here? Okay, David wants to know if he can get a list of the items that are made in the USA because he doesn't want to sell stuff from China. That's what we do. I mean, our stuff is shipped and printed and decorated, and some of it's made and some of it's not made. I mean, some of the stuff we do actually get from, like, like these little night lights. We buy these electronic uh, night light, the base from China, but then we cut the acrylics and engrave all the acrylics right there in Hannibal. So some of the stuff, you know, it's like shirts that we get from Fruit of the Loom and Gildian and Next Level. That stuff's manufactured somewhere else, but they ship it to us, we warehouse it, and then we print it and decorate it, ship it from our facility there in Hannibal, Missouri. Okay, good. And uh, Anna just asked a question that uh, maybe some other people have, so let me ask this. If uh, she buys and, and does the payment plan, will you still build her store? Yes, absolutely. Uh, we're going to take the risk that uh, you you stay on board with us. We're going to get you results. We want to get you going through Christmas. Christmas time, I should I, I could have a whole 20 minutes on why this is the best time of year to get involved. The numbers, the statistics, everybody buys at Christmas. Every 14-year-old, every 18-year-old, every 22-year-old, every 40, everybody is buying Christmas presents. And personalization is hot. The unique stuff we have is hot. It's just it, this is this is the time to get started in e-commerce. Yes, I want to and, answer and a question with it, a, a little bit of a I mean, joke. You, you guys, are, you know, you I mean you see all the the news. You see how people are, you know, there's only you know 92 shopping days left till Christmas, and people are counting down because it's such a huge, huge buying season, and people are just naturally out looking for things to buy, especially things that they can personalize, things that are unique. Uh, you know, like the, the the many of the products that you can sell through uh, the T Rex store, and. Uh, if you're going to get started, if you've ever thought about getting started, this is the very best time to get started. I mean, if you, it's great. You, yes, you can get started, and you could start up a, a store in January. But if you could start your store now, and you can, and be up and selling a week from now, and taking advantage of the holiday shopping season, it's just such a huge boost to what you're doing. And, and I'm sure that a lot of Greg's training is going to be. Uh, up, you know, upcoming and then the weekly training is going to be how to take advantage of the Christmas season because it's an obvious thing to do if you're in e-commerce, right? Yep, yep. Hey, Sean, I have a hard stop here that I got to get off, but Stephen can stay on, and you know, he's my business partner here at T-Rex. He can continue to answer questions. So, could I excuse myself? And I got a hard stop. I got to get on another call here. Yeah, that, that's no problem. We appreciate your being here. Appreciate the time. And uh, got everybody. How many people? If you guys have uh, joined. Uh, T Rex today. Put a one in the uh, uh, the question and answer box there, question and chat box, whatever it's called. Um, so I'm going to say thank you, everybody. I really appreciate your time. Stephen will be here. You're in good hands. And until then, you got to do what I do: wake up every day with an attitude of gratitude and tell somebody you love them. So I'm going to. You got to send the presenter back to you because uh, I'm going to. I'm going to leave. So I'll send it back to you, Sean. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it, everybody. All right, everybody, I'll show you my screen in a second. But in the meantime, uh, if you've got any questions, type them in. Stephen is answering questions, and uh, type it in there so you guys can uh, be able to go ahead and get your um, stores set up, get ready to go, get, get uh, things rocking and rolling, and uh, you're going to be in great shape uh, for uh, not just the Christmas season coming up, but, but the whole season. Uh, so we'll be able to do that. Um, let's see what people have for questions here. Okay, Stephen Marvin's got a question on payment and PayPal or something. Whoops.
Okay, sorry, guys. So the silence is me trying to read questions and just make sure we're getting everybody answered. Um, Basil, that's fine just as long as it's, you know, next day or two. Um, let see. All right, Marlene, you're welcome. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, Stephen's typing answers furiously in here to people that are typing questions in. Uh, yeah, I just here. want to make sure we got anything. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm here. I can answer verbally as well. I was just muted while I was typing. Uh, that's okay. That's that's all good. Um, hey, Sean, this is James. I want to jump in if you don't mind. Greg wanted yeah, me to Yeah, go ahead because I'm Greg trying to read and talk at the special. same time. Greg wanted me to do something special for people that are attending right now that can hear my voice right now. He wants to throw in two more bonuses, uh, but you have to get in right now. And those two bonuses are, number one, I saw people talking about, well, how do I drive traffic? You know, will you help me with that? We have a brand new course that shows you how to drive traffic using Pinterest. And we just, we just finished that course last week. We haven't even started selling it yet, but it will sell for $500. The value on it is over 1000 but we also have another course that I've been using myself for the last few months that's how to use Facebook fan pages to drive extremely cheap clicks to your product pages and we have a complete training on how to do that I'm using that technique myself it's it's absolutely amazing and you're going to absolutely love it that course is worth a thousand dollars so you're going to get both of those absolutely free but you've got to jump in right now and Sean, I have got to jump off as well because I've got to go meet with Greg. He's got um, we've got a meeting right now, so oh, that, that's I, good. Hey James, I appreciate that. it, and I, and I assume that the people who already joined are going to get those bonuses as well because I know someone's going to ask that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Any anyone that's hearing my voice on this training right now will get that. All right, awesome. Thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate it, and and uh, on behalf of everybody else, thank you. All right, uh, Stephen, Julian's asking, maybe a question other people have is, after the the initial uh, setup fee here today, what what other fees are they going to have, like monthly fees or anything that are going on? Yeah, that's a great question. So ordinarily when you don't buy a mega store, there is a $97 a month <clears throat> fee that is covered for your first 12 months. So there is no additional upsells, no additional costs from us. Obviously, when you sell a product, you sell it at retail, get the full retail value, and then there's a wholesale charge when we uh, print and ship the product. <clears throat> so this obviously cost a good sold. But then your, your advertising budget. So if you've got offline strategies, then it's your time, belly to belly, while it's selling to, to businesses in your local community. But you're going to do Facebook advertising. We have a, <clears throat> a case study where somebody started with a $5 Facebook ad and within a few days grew that to $20,000. In, in sales, just start with five dollars. So you only you want to scale uh, funnels that are working and kill the ones that aren't. So you very rapidly will kill the the loser. So you can start with a very small ad budget and then scale from there. Okay, awesome. The, Rachel just asked a question that uh, I think stems partly from confusion. She she asked, um, you know, the smaller products like T-shirt and mugs, those are loss leaders, and and that's a question, and and that's not correct. So Let's let's try to clarify some things from a marketing perspective. Okay. You're you're not going to sell the product at a loss. So if you generated free traffic, somebody came and bought a bought a mug or they bought a T-shirt. No matter, some, I mean, unless you sell it for a ridiculously low price, less than the actual cost of, of goods, then you're not going to lose money. You're going to make money on that. The price you sell it at depends upon what you're trying to accomplish with your uh, sales and marketing funnel. So Greg was showing you in the presentation how you you have a funnel where you're selling one product and then you offer additional products and services along the way. Now you need to think about this, and, and you've all been through this as buyers certainly, where you see a deal and you're like, wow, that's a really awesome deal. I'm going to buy that. And then you start looking around and they're like, oh, look, here's another good thing. I should add that on. I should add that on. So you might have started out spending $15. But before you leave the website, you've spent $27.98. Okay? Thinking in your head, you're like, I'm buying a $15 thing here. But pretty soon you're spending almost twice that much money. Well, the difference in profit the, the seller makes at that point right, is huge. 
originally maybe they were making five dollars on the fifteen dollar sale, but then you bought a couple upsell things, and pretty soon they're making you know fourteen dollars on the whole transaction because of the sales funnel. That's why Greg was talking about at the beginning how important that is. Okay? You're not going to make all your profits on the front end sale. It's going to be the front end sale plus the, the back end sales. Things that are sold in the upsell chain, things that are sold through the follow up, additional products you sell to people. So you want to generate people into your funnel. They're going to be able to buy, and that's why the funnel is so important. Why you've either got to build these out yourselves or have a system like T Rex that can build them. So you don't have to lose money, but you might choose to lower the price on a product to get a lot of interest in it because you know that the, the same person who comes in and buys on average uh, a t-shirt that's got their school on it also buys a wristband or they buy you know a head a hat or they buy other things and you're and you make you know a lot more money than that initial sale from that person in a funnel does that make sense hopefully because I know that was a really long answer but I don't want people to get Yes, okay, good. You're way, welcome. But you weren't telling me. Yeah, so the thing is, there's just going to be the stuff that looks like everybody else's stuff, and then there's going to be the designs where you can put a hot product in front of a hot niche and demand higher prices. But it is a complicated question because, because you're going to cover the cost to acquire the customer, and everything in the upsell increases the average order value, but then you get to email market and have a customer for life and increase the lifetime value of the customer. So certainly we teach to test pricing. Because you don't want your ego to get in the way of, well, I've got to charge $25 a t-shirt. No, you want to charge what it increases your profit value to the most. So you can sell a bunch of t-shirts at $5 and lose money. You can sell a, um, make a lot of money per t-shirt at $40 and sell one. So what you want to do is price test them because it's your store. You can very quickly price test and then track that in a spreadsheet and figure out what price of a particular item or funnel maximizes profit because that's what matters. Okay, so um, sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to read and talk at the same time, which usually comes out badly. <laughs> Can you set up your store to sell and let people download digital products? Yes, I mean it's a it's a WordPress based T Rex plugin, so there's no reason why you couldn't set that up. Now, out of the box, does it do that? It's meant to send an order straight to so someone who does the fulfillment, but you could have the orders come to you through via email and you could just send them a private link or figure out how to add the gated part. So there isn't really a, what we would call a gated community part of T-Rex yet, but certainly you could make the sales within the platform and we can help you figure out the back end of that. Okay. And for uh, college products, do you guys have access to the licensing um, to sell College branded it's, products. If you, if you go look at our, our, our some of our other web pages, it's not part of the mega store because it's complicated. But yes, we have what's called a college warehouse where we do have licensed products. But let me say this about that: because it's licensed per design, you can't just take artistic liberties and go crank out your own designs. If there's already a certain college design, then you're limited by that because literally the licensing is based on the new designs. You have to submit a design; it has to go through vetting. It takes a long time. So if you're real interested in trying different designs, it's not for you. If you would just want to sell existing designs and have access to that licensing, yes, Printex and T-Rex has access to that licensing. But to simplify this offer, it's not in, in the mega store. But you could certainly get in touch with somebody and we could help you figure, figure that part out. Okay, great. Uh, all right, folks, if you've got any last questions, let's get them in because we've got to get wrapped up. We've kept everybody here for a long time. Uh, a lot longer than we planned, but I wanted to make sure that everybody got all their questions answered and could know what they're doing to get started. Um, and I, I'm sure that people are going to see this when they get in, but Stephen, when's the next training? The Well, if they join, there's two times a day onboarding calls. So if you just got your mega store, there are twice a day onboarding calls at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Pacific time, because that's where we're sitting right now. And then twice a week, uh, Ask the Expert webinars are Tuesday and Thursday. And I'm going to switch time zones on you. I apologize. Uh, I was told it'd be no math about 10 a.m. Um, uh, no. 3, 2, 1. 11. I messed that up. 
one o'clock. Yeah, so if it's two, if it's two p.m. Pacific, it's five o'clock Eastern. Yeah, yeah, and then there's two twice a week. Ask the experts calls. I'll get you. You'll get all that stuff when you when you sign up. So there's literally going to be onboarding calls for all the newbies twice a day, and then there's a twice a week. Ask the expert, and then we do weekly trainings. And we're coming out with all the new training. We'll start banging that out this week. Um, David keeps asking the question. Well, David, I can't answer that question in the webinar, but we will get you the list of what is a made in America, not shipped from America. That, that is a big concern for one of our uh, new members. We can get you a list of what is made, but I can't do that in the scope of this webinar. We're not ignoring you, but we, we, we have, we're trying to keep up with a lot of questions. So we can certainly get you or anyone on this call a list of what is actually made in America so you can limit what you want to sell to just those products. Okay, and uh, somebody was asking, you know, how does the price compare with um, if I want to go to China and buy it? Uh, and and I, and I can answer that for you because uh, we source thousands of products monthly from China. Uh, if you if you want to go to China, buy in bulk, um, you know, bring it to the U.S. warehouse it. Um, you know, you can you can do better. I mean, if you're if you if you're willing to bear the risk of buying some products, you know, getting them shipped here, put them in a warehouse, which takes several weeks just to go and get and then get them to America cost effectively, then you're going to end up with better margins. Now, you can't do one-off personalization unless you're going to personalize that. So, if you want to if you want a coffee mug that says something specifically about grandma then or nana or grandma or you know tootsie or whatever you want to put on that mug you're not buying one of those from china you're buying you know 500 or a thousand of them uh, so you can't you know do all this one-off personalization and you've got to buy you know cost effectively you want to buy in bulk i mean if you want to sell one-off cat toy that's absolutely fine but um, you know, but there is a huge difference, and especially when you can, um, you know, there there's you know a big market out there. But the more you can differentiate yourself through uh, the personalization and the uniqueness of of some different things, then you're gonna get much better results from that. Okay. Um, all right. Hi, Salim. I'm not sure if that was a question in there at all. Um, yeah, when email, put put in your email address because I, I know you've got some more questions that someone's probably going to have to give you a longer answer to, and uh, we'll Stephen can grab that and we can do that. All right, we'll get that done. And other than that, we're going to wrap up in uh, two minutes here at ten after the hour. Um, I, I saw some people who had order troubles. Uh, if you do. Um, especially if your credit card got declined because uh, we, have, we have a lot of customers overseas, please just call your bank, tell them it's okay. They'll say, hey, it's okay. Then you just you have to put the order through again because it will not automatically process. The, the, they require you to put it through again. Um, so for those of you that are trying to work your way through there, get that done. Um, and Birch wants to know, Stephen, if you do box sets. Yeah, so if, is that box set? The question is, is that box sets of your own product? Certainly, if you were to source stuff from somewhere else, stuff that you wanted to sell, you tell Randy at Printex exactly how you want it packaged and bundled, and that's the way you can present it on your website, and that's where they'll get it. Or what we'll do is if it's already existing products already in their inventory, you could literally in your funnel say, well, you know, you like that. Why don't you just get all three right now? for the special offer, let me bundle that. And all you do is just is have it so that that's what goes to the shopping cart. And even if they get just like Amazon, it's a whole lot harder to bundle stuff on Amazon than it is in this platform because you can just put a note to, hey, pick these three products and put in, and however you want to package it and bundle it, we can certainly do that. So you would have to clarify what you mean by bundle because it can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. He said thanks, so I guess that that yeah, yeah, no, that's good. That, that I mean, take you, the right if, box. If you already wanted it in a basket with a bow on it, you'd have to pay somebody to do that. I mean, you'd have to pay somebody to do it, Randy, whatever. If it's just pick three things and put it in a box together and call that a bundle, great. If it's actually put it in something that makes it look like it was meant to be sold together, then that's a different skew, I would say, to simplify that. Okay. Well, guys, we're, we are basically out of time. Uh, glad everybody 
got here. We've got an amazing number of people still on here. Got to, you know, get learning more, getting more answers, uh, finding out more about e-commerce. Uh, congratulations to those of you who've gotten started. Can't wait to hear uh, how you guys are going to rock it in the coming months, especially with this big selling season coming up. And look forward to, to hearing great success stories from what you have. And, and we're going to be uh, doing some specific e-com training on our um, Wednesday webinar, either this week or next week. I'm not sure which one. Uh, so we'll be talking specifically about getting traffic um, uh, and leveraging uh, free traffic to e-com stores because uh, we know that question is going to come up right behind this. So we're already, uh, Brian's getting that lined up and ready to go for you. Uh, I want to thank Stephen and please send, give our thanks to Greg for the great offer, the great opportunity uh, and a chance for people to be able to step right in and get started uh, quickly with something that would cost you tens of thousands of dollars to try to go build yourself. So. Yep, thank Congratulations you, Sean, to everybody. And, and on behalf of Greg Ryder, I'm Stephen West. We just have everybody here at uh, T Rex Ecom and T Rex Megastore. We thank y'all for your time and your attention. And thank you again, Sean. It was a great, great webinar. All right, everybody. Have a great day.